please hit that subscribe button. Hey everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup this season. If you are new to the channel, Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked on and he scores! And we're live. And we're live. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to tonight's stream. We have a huge college hockey matchup tonight between the number eight team in the country, according to USA Today, the UMass Amherst Minutemen, against the number two team in the country, the Boston College Eagles, who will be playing their first game of the season tonight. Um, they were supposed to be playing each of the previous two weekends, but it, their games unfortunately got postponed against their opponents the last couple of weeks. So BC touches the ice for the first time tonight. And man, when you look at that BC roster, they have a lot of NHL level talent on that roster and guys who will be playing in the NHL in the future. So this is a huge game between two top 10 teams in the country. And I am really, really excited for this one. This is going to be a great night of hockey. Already see some familiar names in the chat. So uh, Alex, Transportation Land, other Alex, Vernon, Jaron, Trey. Um, welcome to the stream, everyone. THG's here. What's going on? Niners fan, what's up, guys? Welcome to the stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, the, this Boston College team is absolutely loaded with NHL draft picks. Um, Logan Hutsko being one of them. Spencer Knight, Drew Hellison, Alex Newhook, um, uh, Trevor Kuntar, Boston Bruins pick from this year's uh, pa this past draft this year. Um, th there's so much talent on this Boston College team. We haven't gotten to see them play a game yet. They will tonight. Um, and this is their first game of the season, and we're going to really get to see how good this team is. They're number two in the country to start the year, uh, and I think that they're going to, uh, to, to live up to that. And, man, but they've got a great matchup uh, against another top-10 team in UMass. UMass had a really good weekend um, last weekend, getting a win over UConn. Uh, I believe they tied the second game, but they got a big 5-1 win in their first game over UConn. So... Uh, UMass is a top 10 team as well, and there's going to be a lot of talent in this game for sure. It's going to be a fun one to watch. Kevin, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Getting ready for a great college hockey game here between these two teams. And I'll be doing tomorrow's game as well. These two teams play again tomorrow afternoon um, the, at 4.30, and I'll be doing that game as well. So we'll We'll do the whole weekend series between UMass and BC. It's haven't streamed back-to-back -back games in a while, so I'm uh, pretty pretty excited to do two in a row. And uh, this is the most I've gotten a stream since the end of the NHL playoffs. So, uh, Ski, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. It has been a while. Thank you for being here. Other Alex is here as well. Um, uh, probably not until I get done. I'm probably done with remember hymns for a while, Alex, because the no one, no one really, those videos, the numbers are pretty low. So I'm gonna spend my spend time doing stuff um, like the off season recaps that are doing uh doing much better. But anyway, we are underway. Spencer Knight in goal for Boston College, and Matt Murray in goal for UMass Amherst. So both of these teams have their number. Um. Their, their number one goaltender in the net, and Boston College jumps it into the offensive zone here. Mari out to play it, sends it around the boards. Trying to get that out is UMass. They're able to. Now into the BC end. Here they come, moving down the ice. Good job there defensively, though, by the Eagles, and they're able to take this puck away in their own zone. They skate it up and out over the red line, but the BC forward falls down, and that's going to be an early icing here against Boston College. And UMass has an offensive zone faceoff coming up just over 30 seconds into the game. Logan, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Red Rubber, welcome as well. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Um, yes, uh, Spencer Knight is a first-round pick of the uh, Florida Panthers, one of the top goaltending prospects in the NHL. And uh, he is now a sophomore at BC, had a tremendous freshman season. Bad turnover there by the Eagles. UMass brings it into the offensive end. BC does a good job getting back, though. Pucks behind the net. Now they're looking for a breakout play. UMass keeps it in again. Pucks down in the corner. Now back behind the net. Puck there. UMass with it. 
bad angle shot through the crease goes doesn't connect with anybody and that one gets sent out by the bc defense just over a minute into the first period here just underway I am not rooting for any team in particular, THG. I like both of these teams as Drew Hellison stands up at the blue line there for Boston College and does a nice job taking the puck away. BC's now down in, their own, in the offensive zone. Hellison's not able to keep that one in at the blue line, however. He takes a hit as UMass gets the puck out. Boston College regrouping now in their own zone, looking for a play through the neutral zone. They cross over the red line, over the blue line now, but taken right away by UMass's defense. And now it's back out to neutralize. Hellison tries to stand up, but UMass keeps coming. Taken quickly back, though, and cleared by the BC Eagles. But UMass brings it right back in. UMass trying to get some sustained pressure. Not able to keep it in the zone, however, as it goes back to neutralize, where they'll have to regroup with the puck. Uh, not that I've seen Logan. Uh, I'm not sure. But uh, of the ones that I checked and know off the top of my head, I know Newhook and Hellison are Avalanche prospects. Kuntar's a Bruins prospect. Spencer Knight's a Panthers prospect. I don't think there are any um, Tampa Bay Lightning prospects in the, um, that I know of off the top of my head, at least, without like looking at who everyone was drafted by. As the, UMass is in their own zone here, trying to keep it in. They do, or um, trying to get it out, excuse me. BC trying to keep it in. They do at the first try, but UMass then gets it out. Now they bring it into the offensive end and send it deep down low. Puck's now in the corner. Both teams going for it. UMass comes away with it behind the net. Pass out in front. Chance here. Oh, Spencer Knight somehow gets across and makes a save on the short side shot there. Just getting to the post in time. BC looking for a breakout now. That one goes all the way through the neutral zone, deflected into the offensive end behind the net. UMass plays it quickly, though. They do a good job of getting out of their zone. They turn it right over at the red line, however. Takes it right back, though. Solid defensive play. Now they're trying to bring it up into the offensive end. Right, race for the puck here. UMass wins it behind the net. Trying to wrap around play. No one's able to get a stick on it as it comes through the crease. UMass keeps it in. Boston College looking to get it out. This is the first period of hockey for BC in this um, in this season. UMass played last weekend against UConn. Shot here. That one gets blocked on the way through. BC couldn't get off. Now they have it in the high slot. Long shot gets blocked as well. Pucks in the corner. Matt Murray hasn't had to do much for the uh, Minutemen in goal here yet. Boston College just trying to find their game a little bit here. UMass trying to break it out of their zone. They're able to get it to the blue line, but not out. Good hit along the wall there, but BC keeps possession. D pass back to the D now. Kept it in the blue line. Long shot. That one gets deflected wide to the corner. Boston College wins, wins the race for it. They're down in the corner now. Sent out in front. Not able to get a stick on it, though, in the slot, and UMass gets a clear there. Sends it out to the neutral zone, and Boston College now has to regroup a little over four minutes into the first period here. Pucks down now in the corner. Sent out in front. Boston College can't get a clean shot away, but the rebound comes in and floats in on Murray. He, he grabs it, covers it up, and we'll get a whistle here. An offensive zone faceoff coming up for the Boston College Eagles. As we go back and look at this replay, really good short side chance there for the Minutemen, but Spencer Knight holds the post and keeps that one out. Immediately off of the faceoff there, it goes right to Matt Murray's glove. He just covers it, and we'll just completely redo that draw with 15.45 remaining in the period. Face off one back there by the BC Eagles. The long shot goes wide of the net. However, they keep it in at the blue line. Pucks now down deep, deep in behind the goal. Boston College looking for a scoring opportunity. Pucks in the corner now. UMass doing a good job defensively. They take the puck away. Trying to rim it around and they get it out. Off uh, up the wing now into the middle of the ice. Pass doesn't connect, but it gets deflected in by the UMass forward. And now they can go on the four check, but BC rims it and easily clears. Now UMass back in their own zone regrouping. They give the puck away, though, in neutral ice. BC with it, throws it into the offensive zone, and that one just goes wide. Murray trying to keep that one out. Good chance there, and it deflects all the way out of the zone. So Murray with a little bit of work there. Um, and now UMass takes it over at the red line. Now into the offensive end, looking to get a shot here. That one gets deflected. Solid defensive play there by the Boston College defense.
Oh, big hit in the offensive zone there by UMass, but we've got a whistle here, and I believe a penalty call coming up. And it looks like Boston College is going to go to the power play here as UMass gets called for, that might be cross-checking in the offensive zone. It looks like Felix is headed to the box here, and uh, that will probably be a cross-checking call, maybe interference. And BC is going to get the first power play opportunity of this game. I don't know anymore. What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Offensive zone faceoff here with a man advantage coming for the BC Eagles. We've got a 0-0 game here with 14:41 left. Faceoff won back by UMass. They'll look for a quick clear on this penalty. They go off the boards and all the way down. Spencer Knight out to play it. Leaves it for his defenseman behind the net, and BC will have to regroup here and get a rush going. Drew Hellison with it for the Eagles over the red line. Now he drops it back. Now here comes BC into the offensive zone. Sent in down low now. Trying to make a play behind the net. They maintain possession, but then they turn it over, and here comes UMass shorthanded off ice. One on three, though. UMass happy to just kill time with that long shot that goes off glass behind the net. Hey, Nick, thank you. Really, really appreciate that. And um, Thank you for watching and stopping in. It's great to have you here. So we've got a minute 19 left on the power play, and BC goes off sides as they enter the zone there. So we've got 14 minutes left in the first period, and we've got an offensive, or just outside the offensive zone, neutral zone faceoff coming up here, just outside the UMass end. BC was still over a minute of power play time remaining here. Faceoff one back here. UMass, they're able to clear it all the way down again. 1.15 left on the power play. Boston College has not been able to get anything going so far. Under 14 now to go in the first is uh, BC's got the man advantage here into the offensive end. Taken away again by UMass. Here they come up ice, shorthanded, two on two. And solid play defensively getting back there for the Eagles. Now they have to try and get the puck out of their zone. A really good forecheck here on the PK. And UMass is doing a tremendous job of just killing time here. Down to 45 seconds left on the power play. Still a scoreless game here. Powell takes the puck for Boston College. Out of the, uh, their own zone. Up to neutral ice now. Pass back. Now into the offensive end over the blue line. Trying to get something going with possession here, but not able to. Under 30 seconds left on the power play. Boston College hasn't been able to get anything going so far with this man advantage. Pass out now. No one home at the far point, and that one goes all the way down. Spencer Knight comes way out to play it up quickly. Trying to get it into the offensive end now. And they have to curl back as there were players still in the zone. Ten seconds left on the power play, and that is just about going to do it. UMass has basically killed this one off. We're under 13 to go in the first. Over the red line, UMass player Felix is out of the box. And we are back to five-on-five five hockey. BC unsuccessful on their first power play chance of the season. And not only didn't they score, they barely had even possession on that power play. So that's something they're going to want to look to improve upon as this game goes along and this weekend goes along. Is that pass from UMass splits the D and goes out to the neutral zone. Dumped right back in by the Minutemen. Looking for some momentum after that penalty kill. Pucks down in the corner here. Looking for the first goal of the game. Have a feeling the first goal of this game is going to be huge given the fact that these are both two top t or, uh, top 10 teams. So I um, think the first goal is going to be really, really important because playing from behind against a team as good as either of these two is not a position that you want to be in. Under 12 minutes now to go as that puck goes up and into the UMass bench. We'll get a whistle here with 11.51 remaining and a still scoreless game here between the UMass Minutemen and the Boston College Eagles. Hockey East action between two top 10 teams in the country coming at you here. 0-0 as we head to commercial break here in the first period. Really appreciate all of you guys watching. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Please subscribe if you are new and hit that thumbs up if you haven't yet. The more likes on the video, the more likely it is that more people are going to see this and join the stream. So obviously that's very, very much appreciated. And great to have you all here. Thank you guys all for watching. We've got a solid game so far. Boston College looks pretty sloppy early, but it's their first game of the season. They were supposed to play two weeks ago. It got postponed. They were supposed to play uh, last weekend. It got postponed again. So Boston College has kind of just been practicing, waiting for their season to actually start. 
and now they finally get a game in here. So it's not it's not surprising that the first 10 minutes they look a little bit sloppy as they're just getting their game legs under them. Yo, Brody is here. What is going on, Brody? Thank you so much for stopping in. And the absolute legend himself, Hot Take Hockey, is in the chat. Thank you so much for being here, John. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, yes, Thanksgiving was very good. Um, thank you. Thank you for asking. Really appreciate it. It was a good day. And uh, hope things are going well with you, man. Thank you so much for stopping in. Appreciate it. Trying to uh, trying to bring some college hockey action here while we wait for the NHL to return. And we're back from commercial break as Boston College wins that offensive zone faceoff. Hellison sends it down low. Colorado Avalanche prospect Drew Hellison, number four defenseman for um, the Boston College Eagles. Definitely someone to watch in this game as um, he's, a, he's a pretty good prospect there. And now we get a hand pass call against Hellison and the Eagles, and that puck's going to come out to the neutral zone here with 11.33 remaining in the first. All right, face off one back there by UMass. From the neutral zone, they go back into their own zone, and now they break out over the red line, trying to get it deep into BC territory. They're hard on the forecheck. Both teams going for it. BC rims it around behind the net. Now it's in the far corner. They're trying to make a play out. Taken down in the zone. No penalty, though, coming up. So clean play there for UMass on the forecheck. Boston College able to clear it, however. All, sent all the way down and behind Matt Murray, and that's going to be icing against BC as the pass doesn't connect. And UMass gets an offensive zone faceoff coming up here with 11.08 left in the first period. Here we go. Offensive zone draw there for the Minutemen. One back. They're setting up now in the offensive and pass into the slot. Solid in zone coverage there by BC. And that shot gets deflected up and out of play over the, get over the net and over the glass as Boston College does a very nice job in covering the uh, you know most dangerous area of the ice right there and blocking that shot up into the netting and not allowing UMass to get a quality chance there. So UMass wins this faceoff again in the offensive zone. Back to the point. Long shot in. Big time stop there through traffic by Spencer Knight. Knight comes up big for the Eagles there, just making a positional save through traffic. And now the puck's out to the neutral zone. BC with it. Into the offensive end. Here come the Eagles. Puck's down low now. Trying to get it in front. Matt Murray holds the post. And he covers it with his glove, but can't hold on to it. And after a little bit of digging, UMass comes away with it and is able to exit the zone. Over the red line now. Boston College takes it right back, but then turns it over. Here's UMass into the offensive end. Shot there, and Knight makes another save. That one just blocking it with his body. But we have a slashing call coming up, I believe, against Boston College. And that's going to lead to a UMass Amherst power play here with 10.26 remaining in the first. And they're going to get some more offensive zone time here with the man advantage. So Spencer Knight comes up with a big save, but there is a slashing call against Boston College here, and that is going to lead to a UMass power play, their first man advantage chance of the night. And uh, we'll see if they're able to capitalize on theirs, which um, Boston College was not able to do with their power play chance. So here we go now. Face off one back there. UMass setting up already in the offensive zone. Long shot there just goes wide of the net. Boston College comes away with it, and they're able to clear it all the way down. Good early opportunity there on the power play, but it just goes wide for UMass, and BC clears it. UMass back now in their own zone, regrouping. Ticking down towards the halfway point of the first. We've still got a scoreless game here. In the neutral zone now. With it, into the offensive end, UMass brings it. They send it in down low. Boston College trying to get a quick clear. Back to the point, U UMass keeps it in. Setting up now. Patient on the power play. They've got the man advantage here for uh, a decent... Uh, Nesson doesn't even have the penalty time clock up, but it's at least another minute of power play time here. And that one's cleared out again by BC. Okay. Good penalty kill so far. UMass sends it right back in, though, and Spencer Knight just sticks that one to the corner. That one goes up and out. Cleared here by Boston College, and that one goes all the way down. 
Taken away here. Shorthanded. Oh, almost a shorthanded chance for Boston College. We're down to 50 seconds on the power play. 51 to be exact. And Murray has to cover that one up after the turnover in his own zone. And that's uh, going to lead to an offensive zone faceoff here on the penalty kill for the Boston College Eagles. So 51 seconds of power play time here still for UMass. Um, but Boston College has done a good job of killing it off so far. Eddie, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Eric's here as well. Thank you for watching. Um, because they haven't agreed to a deal yet, Eric. Barzal's not signed because they have not agreed to a deal yet. So, um, Oh, hang on. We just got a penalty call there. A penalty call against UMass, and we're going to play some four-on-four four here. So a call there must have come from the back referee against UMass, and now we've got four-on-four four hockey. That one gets stopped by Murray on the long shot on the way through. Now here comes UMass out of their zone. Big hit in the neutral zone. UMass keeps possession, though. They bring it into the offensive end. Going hard now on the four check. BC plays it behind the net, and they come away with it. Now looking for a quick breakout. They'll have an abbreviated power play as soon as their penalty is up for about a minute and 10 seconds. UMass into the offensive end, but we're four on four for right now. Shot here. Big glove stop by Spencer Knight. Knight flashes the glove there for Boston College um, and makes a big save there, keeping this game scoreless. So we'll have an offensive zone faceoff for UMass coming up here. Still a little bit of four-on-four four time left before we get a uh, Boston College power play. So here we go. BC with it behind their own net. Lewis looking for a quick breakout here. Eight and a half minutes left in the first period over the red line. Here comes the Eagles. Over the blue line now and into the offensive end. Shot there! That one nice high shot just goes wide. Hey, Christian, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for watching. Appreciate having you here. As it's put into the offensive zone here by Boston College. Long shot there from the point. Block down in front. BC now on the power play as their penalty comes to an end. And UMass still has about a minute to kill off as we tick down towards eight minutes left in the first. Drew Hellison with the puck behind the net. I've said his name a lot tonight. He's been very active, especially for a defenseman. The puck's been on his stick a lot. That one's thrown in now. Harden on the forecheck comes Trevor Kuntar for... Um, for the BC Eagles, Boston Bruins third round draft pick in this past draft, number 15 for Boston College. He's down in the corner fighting for it, along with McBain. Sent out now, cleared by the UMass penalty kill. UMass has been very, very strong on the penalty kill so far in this game. You, Boston College with it. Murray has to make a quick save there on a sharp angle shot, but he easily holds the post. UMass clears it out now over the red line. BC trying to regroup at neutral ice. And we are back to five on five hockey. All the penalties are over and we're back five on five here. Into the offensive end now. BC with it. Pass into the slot just doesn't connect. Pucks in the corner now. Boston College maintains possession. Sent down low. Now to the far corner. Hard on the forecheck. They're going after it. Danny Waite in on the forecheck there. Doug Waite's son, Danny, plays for Boston College. He's number tw uh, 17. For BC. Doug Waite played almost 20 years in the NHL. His son now plays for Boston College. Is that's going to be icing there against BC with 645 left in the first? Hey Panther, what's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it, man. As that's going to be a quick offside from that faceoff as it just came out of the zone on UMass and then they sent it right back in and that's a quick offside. So uh, they'll be able to get line changes here. We'll have a neutral zone faceoff coming up, but we're going to get a commercial break first. So we are over the halfway point of this first period between the UMass Minutemen and Boston College Eagles. Hockey East action between two top 10 teams in college hockey and it's been a good one so far still scoreless some chances for both teams but no one's been able to put the puck in the uh in the net yet i really really appreciate all of you guys watching thank you guys so much please hit that like button if you haven't and subscribe if you are new 
Um, tr trying to bring you as much content as I can while we wait for the NHL to return, and I really, really appreciate everyone being here. I will be doing these same two teams again tomorrow afternoon at 4.30. They play again. That's how college hockey generally works is you have a you have a weekend series against your team. You play two games Friday, Saturday, or Saturday, Sunday, depending on the schedule. Um, and these two teams play again tomorrow evening or afternoon at 4.30. So I'll be bringing that game as well. And uh, these are two of, two of the best teams in college hockey. So uh, hopefully you guys are, are enjoying the college action while the NHL is away. And, um, yeah, uh, I'm – I'm have this has been a good game. This has been a fun one to watch so far for sure. Yay, Brooks Orpic. Brooks Orpic is an assistant coach now for Boston College. Um he so obviously I assume most of you know Brooks Orpic, longtime NHL player. He went to Boston College in the late 90s, early 2000 early 2000s I believe it was. And um and then obviously went on to play with Pittsburgh and Washington in the NHL and had a very long career. So he's now a coach with Boston Colleges. Big stop there by Murray. And then another one is BC putting the pressure on in the offensive zone. And two huge stops there by UMass's goaltender, Matt Murray. Not Matt Murray that plays for the Ottawa Senators, but UMass's Matt Murray coming up huge there with a couple of big stops. Hey, Vegas, what is going on? Welcome to the stream, man. Thank you so much for stopping in and watching. Really, really appreciate it, bro. Uh, that faceoff gets won back by UMass, but BC going hard on the forecheck here. Trying to take possession away. Both teams fighting for it in the UMass zone. UMass trying to clear it out, and finally, um, they do. They get it cleared over the uh, red line now, and BC brings it right back in. So Boston College, the last couple minutes here, starting to put a little pressure on. UMass gets it out of their zone, but BC takes it right away. Oh, big hit in the neutral zone. The Boston College defenseman, right as he played that puck, took a big hit there in the neutral zone. It was Hellison, but he gets right back up and into the play. Long shot from the point there, just to flex wide. BC still swarming in the offensive end now with 535 left in the first. Off the boards. Hellison keeps it in. He's had a really solid game so far. Into the middle here. Chance right through the crease, and no one can get a stick on it. UMass, though, can't clear their zone. Kept it in the blue line. Can't get it in front, though. That's tough. Hellison with a steps up makes a big hit, keeping that one in the offensive end. UMass will have to try again on the clear. They finally get it out over the blue line, but BC takes possession right back. Now both teams fight for it in the neutral zone, and UMass comes away with it. Now they're into the offensive end. St right stop at the hash mark there by the faceoff dot. Under five minutes to go in the first. Good hit along the sidewall there. Now UMass has it down behind the net. Hellison takes it away, though, for the Eagles. Trying to get a breakout play. UMass hard on the forecheck. Some fresh legs on the ice as well. That shot block there for BC. They're trying to clear. They get it out. Back to neutral zone. UMass takes it right back, though. Here they come into the offensive end. Driving in the net. Here's UMass. Oh, the defenseman takes them down. And they go pile driving into the net, but the net does not come off. We got a UMass player down injured now. The UMass player, let's see, I couldn't catch a number on that, who it was, but he goes down and pile drives into the post, and he's still down, hasn't gotten up yet. Sorry, we're at commercial break here, just checking something. Got a ton of notifications right now for some reason, but uh, we still got a 0-0 game here between BC and UMass, and uh, we just had the whistle there for a UMass player down after crashing into the post there. That was a hard collision. Um, but, uh, yeah, this has been a fun game so far. Two very, very good teams. Boston College playing their first game of the season. And uh, they were a little sloppy to start, a little sloppy to start there. Um, but uh, up as this period has gone along, and you would expect that with it being their first game, they got to get their game and get used to game action again for after being away for so long. So, um, what I will say is I have not noticed Alex Alex Newhook all that much in this game. 
Uh, he's number 18. Or no, he's not there, is he? He's probably not. No, he would be. Never mind. New Hook wouldn't be there. He would be at the. Um, he would be getting ready for World Juniors, most likely, I would think. I forgot a, le a lot of the college players left. So I completely blanked on the college players leaving for to get ready for World Juniors. He's probably he's probably at Team Canada's camp, not there. That that was my bad, dumb me there. That was stupid. Um, so BC playing without one of their best players. Oh, they score! Doesn't matter. McBain scores for BC, and they bring it into the offensive end there. 404 left in the first period, and uh, we got our first goal of the game is Logan Hutsko does a nice move, gets the puck, tries to get it to the net, but it goes right to McBain, and McDain McBain puts it by Matt Murray short side, and that's one that Murray's got to have. That's a that's one that. <laughs> So it is one to no wrong one. It's one to nothing. Boston College here on a really really nice goal uh, from Jack McBain, the junior forward there, and it's one to nothing. Boston College now over the UMass Minutemen, and uh, yes, I am watching this on Nesson um, Panther. I, I if you're not in New England, you're probably not going to be able to see these college games, but. Um, in New in New England, they're played on Nesson, and they have college hockey on every weekend. Down to three and a half minutes left in the first. UMass looking for an answering goal. Long shot for the point, deflected in front, and that one gets stopped. Long shot again. That one gets blocked down in front. UMass swarming, looking for the tying goal here. And now we get a high stick. I think the puck was played with a high stick. Uh, I think we've got Puck played with a high stick as the call here as the refs whistle this one down. And the faceoff will be coming back out to the neutral zone. It's one nothing Boston College on a goal from Jack McBain, assisted by Logan Hutsko. And that's the only scoring in the game so far, late stages of the first period. Tape to tape, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. UMass with it now. Into the offensive end. Sent down low. BC, though, co comes away with it defensively, and they look for a breakout. They clear it to neutral ice, but they have to wait before uh, UMass takes it away and has to wait to get back on side. Long shot there. Spencer Knight with the pad save. Back out to the red line. Here's BC now with into the offensive end, looking to extend the lead to two. Pass into the middle, taken away. Now moved into the middle of the ice. BC, though, good job getting back defensively. They take possession back. Here they come now up ice, three on three into the offensive zone. Little miscommunication on the drop pass there, and they just have to dump it into the corner. BC with it, trying to keep, maintain possession. They do. Nice diving play there to keep the puck on a BC stick. From the point now down low. And UMass does a good job of defensively, though, and takes that one away as the BC player falls down. Here they come now back up ice. Kicking down towards two minutes to go in the first period. UMass keeps it in. They would love to tie this game up before the end of the period. 2-10 left in the first. UMass with it. Back to the point. Long shot. Purposely wide. No one gets a stick on it. Down below now. Pass out in front. That one just doesn't connect. Deflected away. Pucks on the sideboards now. No hand pass as um, boss, or, uh, UMass was next to touch the puck. Over the blue line now. Over the red line. BC breaking out. UMass takes it right back at their own line though. But we get a whistle. And what is this? A penalty call against McDonald here with 143 remaining in the first period. Boston College is going to go back to the power play as it looks like we've got a holding call here against UMass. And that is going to send BC to the power play here. All right, so offensive zone faceoff here with 143 left in the first and a power play opportunity for the BC Eagles. One straight back here. They would love to extend the lead. Long shot, that one. Big glove stop by Murray. Big one there by Murray to make, keep this a one-goal game. Boston College would love to extend this lead before the end of the period. Here they have it now. Back to the point. 
Hellison quarterbacking the power play here. Now the puck's on the half wall. Long shot, and that's an easy glove stop for Mari as he makes a save with 122 left in the first, 139 left on the power play, and BC still has the one goal lead here. Hey, slap shot, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. 120 left. And they're going to redo that face-off here. All right. Offensive zone draw here for the Eagles. And they lose it back. UMass is able to clear it all the way around the boards there. Sent all the way down by the UMass penalty kill. Knight comes out and leaves it for Hellison. Under a minute and a half now left on the power play for BC. Ticking down towards a minute to go in the first. Still time for a rush though for the Eagles as they bring it in. Pass into the middle here and the pass just catches the uh, streaking forward on his backhand and he couldn't play it cleanly. It's cleared out by UMass now. Boston College ices it on the power play as that was not a smart play there. They tried to move the puck up quickly, but they end up icing it on the power play. And with 48 seconds left, that's going to lead to a UMass offensive zone faceoff while on the penalty kill. Is that pass into the middle just did not connect in time. So here's UMass trying to just eat clock here and kill off this penalty. They lose the draw back, though. BC looking for a quick breakout. They still have 40 seconds on, left in the period. So they've got enough time for another rush here. They can try and get some offense going. Lux, Lutz, uh, Logan Hutzko almost falls down at neutral ice there and has to go back and regroup into the offensive end now. Over the blue line. Pass into the middle. That one gets blocked down. UMass takes it away. They go off glass now. And all the way down, it's cleared again. Under 20 seconds now left in the first. 15 seconds. 30 seconds left on the power play. It will carry over into the second period if a goal is not scored. Final rush here for Boston College. Down to five seconds, and they lose the puck right entering the zone. UMass clears it, and that is going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. The first period has come to an end. It is 1-0 Boston College on a goal from Jack McBain, assisted by Logan Hutzko. That is the only scoring of the game so far as we head to the first intermission. It was a goal that Matt Murray probably should have stopped if you're a UMass fan. But it's been the only goal of the game so far. And we head to the first intermission with a 1-0 game in favor of Boston College. So uh, tw 20 minutes. Periods are 20 minutes just like regular hockey. Um, and we're at intermission now. Um, we're at intermission now, so obviously we have some time to kill. Now, college intermissions are slightly shorter than NHL intermissions. They're 15 minutes instead of 18, so uh, that does make it go by a little bit faster, which is nice. Um, but uh, we've got some time to kill here in the chat, but I want to thank you all for watching. I really, really appreciate it, each and every one of you. Hit that thumbs up button if you haven't yet. Subscribe if you are new. Um, uh, you're going to be doing this game tonight as well as these two teams again tomorrow when... These, uh, these two top 10 conference rivals face off again tomorrow afternoon at 4.30. So a really good weekend series of hockey here between Boston College and UMass. And uh, it's been a good game so far. Both teams have had chances. BC has been the only team able to put the puck in the net. And uh, we've got second period action coming up in just about 15 minutes. So really, really appreciate everyone watching. It's great to have you all here. And we're just doing some college hockey action while we wait for the NHL to return. So the game tomorrow is at 4.30 in the afternoon. So, uh, yeah, um, we have no idea when the NHL is coming back, Panther. Absolutely no idea. Um, the, the NHL PA and NHL haven't even been talking recently. So 
We are not even close to there being an, uh, a new season yet. There's still a lot of things that they need to figure out. Yeah, I, I red rubber. I would say at this point, um, mid January would be best case scenario. Hopefully, mid January that would be best case. Um, uh, I I don't think I don't think you're going to uh, get. I don't think you're going to get any earlier than that at this point. Um, not given the fact that the two sides aren't even really talking right now. Um, the players are not happy with the league trying to already go back on some of the new things in the CBA and trying to defer payments and stuff like that. I, players are not happy. Um, and, um, yeah, I, I, it will be mid-January, I think, would be best-case scenario for hockey, for the NHL coming back. And uh, hopefully that's when it is. Because if you get much later than that, then, uh, th I mean, that's not going to be... That's not going to be good, obviously. Uh, Logan, those guys are all under contract for next season. They're all UFAs maybe at the end of next season. Tampa Bay's in trouble now because they, have, they are $2 million over the salary cap, and they have not signed Anthony Sorelli yet. That's why Tampa Bay's in trouble now. That Sergachev contract put them $2 million over the salary cap, and they still haven't signed uh, Anthony Sorelli or Eric Chernak yet. So Tampa's in a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of trouble as far as the salary cap goes. Like Shen, Shen just re-signed... Um, Good Rose signed through this coming season. Coleman, I believe, is a free agent at the end of end of this coming season. Coburn's contract's up. He Coburn will be gone. He won't be back. Um, yeah, but they they've got they still have a lot of work left to do this off season, and then they have a, an even tougher or maybe not tougher, but another really tough off season next year as well. So. It's, it's not a great situation to be in, um, but they did just win the Stanley Cup, so that makes it a little bit easier to swallow. When I mean, they went all in for a Stanley Cup, and they got that Stanley Cup. So whatever happens now, they're obviously going to have to let some guys go and move, you know, move on from some guys just because of cap space, but they got their Stanley Cup out of it, and that's what it was all about. Um, Yeah, I mean, T Tampa's got a lot of big contracts on that team. They've got a lot of big contracts on that team, Logan. And it's obviously not, like, all going to fit under the cap. Tampa's one of the teams affected most by the cap not going up. I would say Tampa Bay, the New York Islanders. Um, trying to think. So some other real cash-strapped teams. Those are the two that stand out, though, as being in really rough cap space. The, well, the blue, the Blues are going to be fine because Alex Steen's going to LTIR. So as soon as Alex Steen goes to LTIR, that's almost $6 million wiped off the books there. So while the Blues situation right now is not good, once he gets to LTIR, it will be a little bit better. Um, but yeah, the Blues are pretty tight up against the cap as well. There are a lot of teams that are right there. LTIR is going to end up saving a lot of them, though. Like Anaheim right now. You wouldn't think of Anaheim as a team that's right up against the cap, but Anaheim right now has no cap space. But 
That's counting Ryan Kessler's almost $7 million. When the season starts and LTIR goes into effect, Ryan Kessler goes on to LTIR, and Anaheim all of a sudden opens up like $6.8 million in cap space or whatever Kessler's AAV is. Um, uh, no, not at all, Panther. Not at all. I wish baseball had a salary cap. You, um, I, I like, I like it a lot better when you have a much more evened out and spread out league because of a salary cap than what you have in baseball, where the Dodgers are literally in the World Series like every year because they can spend like a billion dollars on players. When a team like the Royals have no chance because they, they can, their entire payroll is like two Dodgers players. Hey, CL, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it. Thank you for stopping in. Uh, yeah, I don't know, Logan. They, they've got a lot of decisions to make. Also, don't forget that uh, we have the expansion draft coming up after n this coming season. So the expansion draft is going to take a player off of every team except for Vegas. So um, it'll be interesting to see who they lose. Um It'll be interesting to see who they lose in the expansion draft as well, because you can't you you can't protect everybody. Uh, I Panther, I don't think the Panthers are giving up Huberdo in the expansion draft. I think Barkov and Huberdo are the two guys that you have no shot of getting. I think that they're those are like automatic pro, automatically protected. Those are those are your two best players right there. See, we're, we should this intermission I'm gonna change the period before I forget I literally almost forgot um, so I'm gonna change the period right now we'll have second period action should be starting fairly soon here hopefully intermission intermissions aren't as long oh Sal's here yo I didn't even notice what's up Sal Thank you so much for watching, man. My buddy Sal from Behind the Arc Basketball is in the chat. Welcome to the stream. Be sure to check his channel out if you like basketball. I know he's been ripping some college basketball streams. Um, obviously waiting for the NBA to get back, and he covers a lot of college normally as well. Um, so, yeah, uh, Sal, thanks so much for stopping in. Really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, I we had a good Thanksgiving. I hope yours was good as well, bro. And I uh, hope everyone's healthy and, and staying staying safe here during these uh, crazy, crazy times we're in right now. But um, uh, appreciate you stopping in the stream, man. Uh, let's see. Red Rubber says, uh, afraid to know what the Penguins are giving up when that time comes. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to think of, like, the Penguins' defense and, like, because you can, you, you can protect, what, four forwards no it's more than four forwards isn't it it's like five or six forwards three defensemen and a goalie or eight in total if you want to switch if you don't want to do it by position I, I don't even I forget Vegas's expansion draft was like three years ago now I forget the exact rules but um yeah uh Pittsburgh's gonna I mean, you're obviously going to um, you're obviously going to protect Crosby, Malkin, Gensel, um, Zucker up front. Um, you know, you're going to protect Latang, Marino, pro Pet probably Pedersen on the back end. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. And what's funny is, like, I see a lot of other channels doing, like, mock expansion drafts and, like, trying to figure out, um, trying to figure out, like, who is going to go from each team. But rosters could look totally different by the time we get to the expansion draft next year. We still have a whole year of trades to be made. We still have 
a, a trade deadline this coming season. We still have, you know, a lot of moves that are, are have yet to be made. So we really don't know what these rosters are going to look like and what is going to be available come expansion draft time and what isn't. But, um, yeah, it, it's going to be interesting to see. I mean, with the expansion rules the way that they are that you know a good usually it's a good player that gets taken because you don't have enough protected slots to keep all of your really good players so uh it's usually a pretty good guy that gets taken in the draft unless there's a trade and an agreement beforehand like we saw a lot with vegas making trades saying we'll take this guy in the expansion draft maybe a lesser player in the expansion draft but you're going to do this trade with us and we're going to get a first round pick or a second round pick or whatever. So, um, yeah, it's going to be really, really interesting to see how it all works out and how, how things change over the next few months before we get to the expansion draft. Yo, Alex, welcome back. Thank you for being here. Really, really appreciate it, man. Great to have you in the chat as we are back here. They're showing some highlights from the first period. We are back uh, for the start of the second. This is going to be a lot of fun. It's been a good game so far. Um, hope you guys are, are enjoying the stream here as uh, we get ready for second period action. Boston College holding a one-goal lead over the UMass Minutemen here. Hockey East action. The goal was scored by Jack McBain for BC. And um, we're just about ready. Um, just about ready for the start of uh the second period here so please hit that thumbs up button if you haven't yet subscribe if you are new really really appreciate it both of those things they help out the channel so so much and we're trying to trying to keep streaming keep bringing you some college action here while we wait for the nhl to return uh yes alex kalorn actually went to harvard university in boston so kalorn was drafted before stamkos he played at harvard and then made the jump to the NHL. Stamkos went right to the NHL, obviously. Um, but yes, Kalorn, Kalorn is older than Steven Stamkos. Hey, Ricky, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, Logan, I'm not sure if he played all four years off the top of my head. But I do. I think he did. He played at least three. I'm pretty sure Kalorn played at least three. I do. I think he played all four years, but I'm not 100% sure on that off the top of my head. But Kalorn played at Harvard, and um, he, he is older than Steven Stamkos. All right, we are... Um we are back. The players are back on the ice. They're coming out of the locker room here, so we're back getting ready for some great second period action. This has been a very good game, and I can't wait to see how the rest of it goes. It's going to be a lot of fun here. We've got two top 10 teams in the nation going at it. Uh, UMass ranked number eight in the USA Today hockey poll. Boston College ranked number two. They haven't even played a game yet. This is their first game for Boston College because of postponements each of the past two weekends. UMass Amherst got to play last weekend against UConn, and they won one of those games and tied the second one. BC getting their first taste of action here. So this is a big, big game for both of these teams in the standings, and um, we'll, uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes here the rest of the way. We've still got 40 minutes of action yet, but the teams are lined up for the start of the second period, ready to uh, ready to get going here. And it uh, looks like we're just waiting on the ref to drop the puck, and we will be back underway. So Boston College holding the 1-0 lead here. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet, and there's a delay. I don't know what the holdup is here. Um... Might be something with the clock because of the penalty time carrying over because there was about 30-ish seconds of penalty time that should have been carried over, I believe. Oh, whoa, the door won't close. Okay, they got an arena problem here. You don't, you don't see that very often. And yes, UMass does only have four players on the ice, so the penalty does carry over from the first period. But it looks like there's a door that won't close here, so they got to get someone to try and fix that. But obviously, you can't play with an open door. So there's 17 seconds of po power play time that carries over here. 
And the teams are just kind of waiting here. And it looks like someone from the ice crew may have finally showed up. This is interesting. Uh, big delay to the start of the second period here. Oh, now they're looking. Never mind. They showed a door that was open. Now it's something with the pegs. Now it's something with the pegs at the net down at the um, Boston College end for this period. So uh, really, really weird here. A lot of things going on. They're trying to get everything put uh, back together. before they can start this period. And it looks like the players are going back to the benches here as they're trying to fix it. So it's something with the peg, the gold peg at the Boston College end. Something is not right with it. They're trying to fix the ice. They're packing in some, some slush around the peg. So um, maybe there's an ice problem right near it. Maybe it, it looks a little loose, that's for sure. So um, the, the ice crew is trying to fix that before we can start the second period here. Alex predicts a BC 3-1 to one win. So a good prediction there. They've got the 1-0 lead here. And um, we'll, we'll see if your prediction comes true, Alex. We'll see. All right. So according to the USCHO rankings, UMass is number 7. But in the USA Today, USA Hockey rankings, they switched UMass and Minnesota. So I don't know if USCHO just hasn't updated yet, and maybe those rankings don't come out until Sunday. Um, but there is a, they're saying UMass is number seven. USA Today has them number eight. I guess it really doesn't matter. Uh, after this weekend, we'll have a better idea of where they're at. Anyway, after you know whether they can win a game against a, a big time rival like um, like Boston College as well. Um, but anyway, finally the um, the puck is dropped. The ice problems are fixed, and Boston College is back, retreating in their own zone here. They've got only five seconds of power play time left. We're uh, just starting the second period of action here. And we're back to five-on-five five hockey as a UMass player comes out of the box. Here we go now. Off glass and out. UMass Amherst over the red line into the offensive end trying to tie the game up. Tries to go through the defenseman there, but a really nice play. And they're able to, BC's able to take that one away. Now here they come up ice into the offensive zone. Going to be offside until they have to go back and regroup. UMass gets a free clear. They do not connect on the pass, however. And that is going to be icing against UMass with 19-19 left in the second. We're not even a minute in. And that's a uh, bad pass there. Icing against the Minutemen. And it will come back down to their zone for a BC offensive zone faceoff. Um, hey, uh, Bob Klaus, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for watching. Uh, which team should you support? Uh, man, I... There's a lot of good ones. Uh, I think it, it's one. I think you should probably watch some teams play and get an idea of like which ones that you really like. I am a Boston Bruins fan in the NHL because that's my hometown team. I'm from Massachusetts, but um, I'm sure there's plenty of people in the chat that will want you to support their team. I know we got some Lightning fans, we got some Capitals fans, um, we got Panthers fan here. So there's a lot of good teams to choose from, Bob. Uh, I, I would try and watch some games or see some highlights and find some players that you really like and then uh, and then base the, base your whatever team you're a fan of off of that as we get a whistle here. One minute into the second period and an offensive zone faceoff coming up for Boston College here. Um, let's see. Who's the best remaining UFA defenseman? Sammy Votnin, CL. Sammy Votnin is the best defenseman left on the market. Um, Travis Hamannick's still out there too, and he's he's very solid. But um, I would say Votnin is the best one. So offensive zone faceoff here for Boston College. They get it right into the middle here. They're gonna get dry quick penalty right off of that faceoff. It's gonna be hooking or holding or some sort of obstruction call here against UMass. But UMass touches the puck, and we get the whistle. BC going back to the power play here. Um, And uh, that is going to be a UMass penalty here. 
right off of the faceoff for hooking, absolutely, and impedes you, uh, Boston College's chance to score there, and that's going to be a BC power play coming up. Uh, there's probably some full games of older games on YouTube, Bob, as far as like streaming live games. Um, I would, uh, I don't know, Reddit might have some live streams, maybe like Crack Streams or VoloKit or some streaming site. But there's no live games going on right now. The NHL season hasn't started yet. So you can probably find full live older games on YouTube. Um, but you'd probably have to go to a streaming site to find full full games of, of newer ones or live ones when they happen. But anyway, Boston College on the power play here. UMass trying to kill it off. They send it all the way down. BC back in their own zone trying to regroup here. 18 and a half minutes left. 140 left on the power play. Second period action. BC holding a one goal lead into the offensive zone. Here come the Eagles. BC gets possession here, trying to get set up in the offensive end. They turn it over, though, and UMass is able to clear. Here come the Minutemen up ice into the offensive zone. Two on two, and they score! Short-handed goal for UMass, and it's 1-1. One, one. What an absolute snipe short-handed. Absolute snipe short-handed for UMass there. Just goes into the offensive end, and from the uh, from the uh, top of the faceoff circle, high glove side on Spencer Knight, and that was a beautiful goal for UMass Amherst. Not sure who got it. I'll have to wait till they show who who got it. But that was a beautiful shot, and UMass ties this game up at one. Just about two minutes into the second period here, and BC still with some power play time left, but they give up a back-breaking shorthanded goal there to tie this game. What's going on, Levi? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. Uh, yes, Bob, definitely check out the Discord, and, and you can talk to some more fans about it, and and uh, get, you'll see you know, all, all my videos and, and a lot more stuff about NHL hockey. So. All right, Panther, sounds good. Thanks for uh, being here. Really, really appreciate it. As UMass dumps that one back in, BC trying to get it out now, and they've still got a little bit of time left on the power play here, trying to retake the lead. Jack McBain with it into the offensive end, but they go offsides entering the zone, and that will be a neutral zone faceoff coming up with 30 seconds remaining on the power play. So I got to get a UMass. I should... I should... Um, I should pull these rosters up for good so I can always have an idea of who's who because I do not know the college rosters like I do the NHL. So um, there, there's a lot of guys here that I don't know strictly by jersey number like I do in the NHL. Number 24 is Zach Jones. So it was Zach Jones with the absolute snipe for the UMass Minutemen. So anyway, uh, face off here, one back by UMass. They've still got 20 seconds of power play to kill off. They send it in behind Spencer Knight and BC has to go back and regroup. We've got 17 minutes left in the second period as Logan Hutsko brings it out over the red line now, Boston College into the offensive end. Uh, this game is on Nesson in, in New England. All of the Hockey East has uh, games every weekend on Nesson in New England. And Boston College scores on the right at the tail end of the power play, and they retake the lead. And now it is 2 1 Boston College here. All of these Hockey East games I watch will be on Nesson. I live in New England, so I have. Um, I have a the ability to watch a bunch of, of Hockey East games every weekend. And that was a really good power play goal there for, that was Hartman, I believe, right? Or Mike Hardman. Mike Hardman, sophomore forward for Boston College. Power play goal going to the net in front. His Obviously his first goal of the season. It's BC's first game. And BC just gets the, uh, the lead right back there at the tail end of the power play. And uh, it's 2-1 to one now. Boston College with 16.35 left in the second. BC trying to break out of their zone. 
Cleared to neutralize. UMass takes possession back. Dumped into the offensive end now by the Minutemen. They go hard in on the four check. Hey, what's going on? Welcome back, THD. Appreciate it. Nice chance there for UMass, and it goes just wide. Cole and Krishna, welcome to the stream. Thank you for watching. We've got, let's see, 16-10 remaining in the second now. You, BC trying to break out of their zone. They lose it. Bad turnover there. UMass with it. Bad turnover in the defensive zone. Trying to crash the net here, and the puck ends up behind it. Spencer Knight's got to find it. It's still behind the net. Now in the far corner. UMass keeps possession, though. They're trying to move it. 15-50 remaining now in the second period as both teams fight for it along the boards. UMass comes away with it. High slot shot and through traffic. Spencer Knight gloves it down and makes a really nice glove save there with 15-45 left in the period. We'll have an offensive zone faceoff for UMass Amherst coming up here. That was a bad turnover in the defensive zone and Spencer Knight's had to make some saves here to keep this, uh, keep, keep UMass to only scoring one goal. Brought back there. Face off one by UMass. Now they have it on the half wall. BC attacked. Trying to take the puck away. They do. They go behind the net now off glass. Trying to get it out. It clears to the neutral zone. Boston College with it. Two on two off ice. UMass gets back though. Shot there and Matt Murray makes a save. And covers that one up. And we get a little pushing after the whistle here. And we'll have an offensive zone face off now for Boston College coming up next. As that was a nice short side blocker side shot there from Boston College. And Matt Murray has to come up with a solid save. That was Matt Boldy for BC with the shot. Anyway, face off one here. BC trying to keep it in. UMass comes away with it. It's cleared all the way down. No icing on the play. Spencer Knight comes way out to play it. And it deflected on Knight again. UMass keeps it in the offensive zone. They're looking for the tying goal. They would love to get this thing tied right back up. Long shot there. That one gets blocked out in front. Second chance and a big pad save from Knight. Cleared out there by BC. That one goes all the way down. Not hard enough for icing, though. UMass gets back to it first. Almost turns the puck over. Puck's in the corner now. Both teams fighting for it. BC hard on the forecheck, but UMass is able to make it get and get it out. They're finally able to get possession. Clear to neutralize now. BC takes it back. Now they're in their own zone. They go D to D, keeping possession. Over the red line, into the offensive end. Here they come. Sent down low. Boston College on the forecheck. Comes away with a puck. 14-30 remaining in the second period. Trying to get it to the net. Shot there! That one just deflects high off glass. UMass clears it up and out. Not able to get it past the blue line, though. Kept in by the BC defense. Pass in the middle. And that shot just goes high over the bar. Big staple hit along the boards there. BC keeps it in, though. Pass, or long shot. That one gets blocked. Now they pass it back to the point. Long shot again. That one gets blocked by UMass. Oh, what a hit! The UMass player gets absolutely steamrolled in the defensive zone as he ices the puck. And with 14-01 remaining in the second, that puck is going to come all the way back down to the UMass end, and Boston College will get another offensive zone opportunity. That UMass player that cleared the puck got absolutely rocked as he tried to send it out. So I appreciate everybody watching. Thank you guys for being here. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Hit that thumbs up. Really helps the channel a lot. I'm going to be covering as much college hockey as I can while we wait for the NHL to return. And uh, this has been a really, really good game so far from Boston College and UMass. Two top 10 teams in the country. And uh, it's a 2-1 game here. Middle stages of the second period as UMass sends that one all the way down. And that will be once again icing as well. And the puck will come right back down to the uh, BC offensive zone and they'll get another chance here. All right, offensive zone draw. One back by BC. They come away with it. Shotting gets deflected on the way through. Puck's now behind the net. Boston College still has possession, though. Good hit there behind the net, though. UMass trying to take it away, but BC swarms to the puck, and they're able to keep it in. Behind the net now, Jack McVane with it. McVane looking for a pass. 
He just sends it back out to the point. Long shot by Caro there, and that one just goes or gets deflected wide. Uh, nice stop there from Matt Murray. No, you, you cannot watch the game on YouTube. It's a copyright violation and gets gets your channel copyright striped. So there is no game on YouTube. Yes, uh, yes, uh, uh, UMass is number eight in the country and Boston College is number two. Um, that obviously, they, they do the rankings every week, so that will change after this weekend. There could be some movement there, but as of right now, that's where USA Hockey has these two teams ranked. As UMass brings it into the offensive end, hot shot from the high circle there. Pretty easy save with no traffic in front for Spencer Knight. Obviously, Knight is one of the top goaltenders in college hockey and a first-round draft pick of the Florida Panthers. He covers it up, and we get a whistle here in a commercial break. Um, about midway, a little not quite midway through the second period here. We've got a 2-1 to Boston College lead on a goal from Mike Hardman. That's the difference so far. Right in front of the net, a rebound chance, and he was going. Um, he just went to the net there and uh, – was able to put it home past Matt Murray, the UMass goaltender. Now, it's pretty funny that UMass's goalie is named Matt Murray because obviously we all, um, if you're a fan of the NHL, you know Matt Murray, who was a Pittsburgh Penguins goalie, won two Stanley Cups, and now is with the Ottawa Senators. Same exact name, but not the same player. Um, Cole. Uh, who do I want to take the dub? Thank you for watching, Cole. And I, I really have no preference. Um, when it comes to college hockey, uh, I am a um, Providence College fan first and foremost because my sister goes to Providence College, and I've been a big fan of theirs for the past few years. After that, I'm just, I'm just a general fan of all the New England teams and, and teams local to me. Um, I, I was a really big Boston College fan when I was a little kid. I almost went to college at UMass Amherst. They were in my final three colleges when I was deciding where to go. So I'm just a fan of all the local schools, and I, I like seeing them all do well. Um, which NHL draftees play for these teams? I don't know UMass Amherst as well. I know for Boston College, um, Alexander Newhook and Drew Hellison are both draft picks of the Colorado Avalanche. Spencer Knight is a first-round pick of the Florida Panthers. Um, Logan Hutsko, I believe. He was drafted, I don't remember by who off the top of my head, I could I could look it up, but he's an NHL draft pick, and I'm sure there's probably some others as well that I don't know just off the top of my head, but this Boston College team is very heavy with NHL level players, guys, guys who will be playing in the NHL in the future. I'm not as, I'm not as familiar with UMass as roster, so I don't know them off the top of my head, but um, Boston College has quite a few. But here's UMass into the offensive end. Trying to get a pass into the slot there in that one. Spencer Knight somehow keeps it out, and the rebound goes past everybody. And Boston College is able to clear to neutralize. UMass with it now sends it right back in behind the net. Knight comes out and plays it. Looks to make a pass out of the zone. Sends it all the way out past the blue line, and UMass has to clear as they get back on side and dump it in. 12 minutes remaining in the second period here. Boston College able to break out. Here they come now into the offensive end. Cross ice pass doesn't connect. Solid defense there from UMass. Possession kept though by the Eagles. Shot there. Sa big save by Murray. UMass not able to clear. Pucks on the far side now. UMass comes away with it. They go off glass and out. By the benches now. Out into the neutral zone. Big hit in front of the BC bench. UMass keeps possession though. Into the offensive end. Pass into the slot. Oh, what a save! We got a penalty coming up, but... And that's going to send UMass to the power play. But Spencer Knight somehow keeps that out. And the penalty is against Boston College. UMass is headed to the power play here with 11-15 remaining in the second period trying to, uh, trying to tie this thing up. And it looks like they don't know who the penalty is on, and the ref is calling it here. It's a Boston College penalty. And it was on the back check here as they tried to move this puck into the middle. And I didn't really see anything there, so I'm not sure what the penalty is for. 
I'm not seeing a penalty at any point there. So I'm a little confused as to what this call is. Anyway, UMass does go to the power play, but BC... BC is able to win the faceoff and immediately clear it out. Yes, Elijah, what is going on? Brendan, welcome as well. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Under 11 minutes now to go. I, I don't know what the ref saw in that play. It must have been back behind the play or something because I did not see a, anything worthy of a penalty call on either of those replays. Um, it's a roughing call against Colby Ambrosio. So uh, that must have been back behind the play. That must have been back behind the play. Hey, King of Art, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. But anyway, BC gets a power, or UMass, excuse me, gets a power play here. 110 remaining on it. Boston College has done well on the penalty kill so far. Pass into the middle, goes under the UMass stick, and that one clears the zone. So UMass will have to regroup here and try and bring it back in. Logan Hutsko does a great job on the penalty kill there and sends that one all the way down. 50 seconds left on the power play here as we tick down towards the halfway point of this game. Exactly the 10-minute mark of the second period. UMass brings it into the offensive end. Pass into the middle. Boston College tries to clear that one. It goes off glass and out. That goes over the glass, actually. And that's going to be a UMass offensive zone faceoff. Oh, Bobby Trevino is still on this UMass team. Okay, that's one name I definitely recognize. Trevino's been at uh, UMass Amherst for a while now. He must be a senior this year. Um, but uh, so he uh, he he's going to be an active player for UMass certainly on the power play. That one gets cleared out here. Twenty seconds left on the man advantage here for UMass, but. Nice job on the penalty kill by Boston College, sending that one all the way down. Time for one last rush here for the Minutemen as they turn the puck over in the neutral zone. Bad miscommunication there. Solid step up, though, by the defenseman to avoid any shorthanded chance there for the Eagles, but that is just about going to kill this penalty off. And with that, we are back to five-on-five -five hockey as Boston College kills it off. And uh, we're back to even strength hockey here. UMass in the offensive zone. That long shot gets blocked down in front. Into the middle there and that one. No one there home for UMass to put it in. BC is able to clear the zone. Out to neutral ice now. Big hit by UMass in the neutral zone. But the puck gets past their defenseman. They have to go all the way back into their own end to regroup here. Under nine minutes to go. UMass in on the four check here. BC rims it around the boards and they get it out. BC now entering the offensive zone, looking to extend the lead to two. They've had a couple of one goal leads in this game, but they have not been able to extend it. And UMass is hanging around. And, you know, you never want to let a team hang around. If you get an opportunity to extend the lead, you want to do that. And that's what Boston College is trying to do here with the offensive zone time. Pass into the middle. Nice shot. And Matt Murray makes the save. He looks like he didn't know where that was for a second. Um, Murray, Murray definitely was a little unsure of where that puck was when he first made that save, but it ended up being under him. He got the cover, and we got a commercial break here. An offensive zone faceoff for the BC Eagles coming up after this commercial break. But... Um, We've, uh, we've got a really, really good hockey game going on here between two Hockey East rivals, BC and UMass, two of the best teams in all of college hockey, both top 10 teams in the nation, and um, they, they're playing like it tonight. Um, yeah, THG, that's what happens with college, dude. THG, college rivalries, I'm telling you, are way, way more bitter than NHL rivalries. NHL streams, you'll get the Canadians fans and the Bruins fans going at it. You'll get the you'll get the Bruins and Maple Leafs fans going at it. You'll get the Flyers and Penguins fans going at it. But college 
college rivalries are at a whole other level and it's so much fun i even like i went to a d3 school and and like our sp- our sports were terrible and the rivalries were still so much fun so like th- there's nothing like college rivalries pro pro sports do not even come close But anyway, quick commercial break, and we are back. Offensive zone faceoff here for Boston College. 8-0-1, 8-0-1 remaining in the second period here. Long uh, Faceoff win back. They faked the long shot from the point. Uh, UMass is able to poke it away. UMass with it now in the neutral zone. Into the offensive end. Up ice, three on three. Now BC does a good job getting back. Pass into the middle. Nobody home there for the Minutemen, and that one clears all the way back to neutral ice, and uh, UMass takes it back to their own zone to regroup. Almost a turnover there, and it was a turnover. BC comes away with it. They win the race to the puck, but then their pass doesn't connect with anybody, and we've got a three-on-two up ice for UMass, so some sloppy passing from both teams here, and then again, Boston College takes it away. Turnovers, and BC scores! They stop in the slot and rip one home 3-1 Boston College Jack McBain with his second goal of the game an absolute snipe blocker side by Jack McBain he's got his second goal of the game and after sloppy turnovers from both teams there finally BC makes UMass pay for it and Murray just got beat blocker side there um, not really much he could do about that. A beautiful shot from the slot. And if you're going to turn the puck over, it's going to end up in the back of your net eventually. And UMass just learned that one the hard way. So it is 3-1 Boston College now with 7:14 remaining in the second period. McBain with his second goal of the night. And uh, a big goal there for Boston College. We just were talking about trying to extend the lead. And uh, Boston College has finally been able to do that. Anyway, long shot again. Oh, that one gets blocked out in front. Murray didn't know where it was. UMass gets to it first, though, and they're able to clear it out. Seven minutes left in the second period. And now we get a whistle in the neutral zone. And I'm not exactly sure what that was for. It might have been a hand pass. Uh, I don't think anybody's going to the penalty box, so it must have been a hand pass. And we'll have a neutral zone face-off here with uh, just under seven minutes remaining in the period. So second period action between Boston College and the UMass Minutemen, number two and number eight teams in the country, according to USA Today. The US uh, CHO poll has UMass at seven. Um, I just, they haven't updated, I don't think they've updated their poll yet. USA Today has them at number eight, so... Um, Oh, almost a bad turnover by Spencer Knight there. Wow. UMass almost got a gift of a goal from Spencer Knight, but he is able to keep it out. And now another chance and a big save by Murray as we had a huge collision in the offensive zone there for BC. And UMass is able to get it out. Wow. Action all over the ice here as everything is picking up. A lot of action all over the place here. And the physicality is starting to pick up as well with it being a two-goal game now. But um, two top 10 teams in the country going at it here. And Boston College looking for their first win of the season and their first game of the season here. Chance though for UMass. Off the pipe! And the rebound, no one's able to get it on goal. Wow, huge shot there for UMass. Just rings straight pipe and and just goes wide. And no one was able to get to the uh, to the rebound in time. UMass dumps it right back in though. Knight clears that one to the corner. BC looking for a quick clear out here. They give it away in the neutral zone. UMass coming right back in. UMass player gets taken down, and that is going to be a power play coming up for the Minutemen as Boston College takes a penalty on the rush there as UMass was bringing it back into the zone. And I'm not sure if they're going to call that hooking or holding. Either way, it's a power play coming up for UMass, and it's going to be a big power play as they look to get this back to being a one-goal game. So it's a big one for them. Yeah, that that shot rang the pipe as hard as you'll ever see a shot hit pipe.
But we are at commercial break here in the second period as we wait for um, for the action to come back. We'll have a UMass power play when we come back. But what a great game we have going on right here. Please hit that subscribe button if you're new and hit that like button if you haven't yet. Both of those things help out so much and really, really help the channel. I'm going to be doing as much college hockey as I can um, while we wait for the NHL to return. And even once the NHL does return, I'm still going to cover some college stuff as well because, I mean, I'm a huge fan of college hockey. I haven't covered it a whole lot on this channel before. Um, but I'm going to try and incorporate a lot more college stuff into, into, uh, into the channel here. And obviously right now when there's no NHL going on, um, then, you know, it's prime time to be covering college hockey. So it's a hooking call against Matt Boldy of Boston college. And that is going to lead to a UMass power play here as they would love to get a big power play goal and get this lead back down to one and get back into this game. So we'll see if they're able to take advantage of it here. Or, um, or if uh, BC is able to kill this thing off. Hey, Jameson, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate that. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream as we're underway here. UMass setting up in the offensive zone on the power play. 520 left in the period. Long shot from the point. That one deflects wide. Still in the offensive zone, though. You, both teams fighting for possession along the half wall here. UMass comes away with it down low. They go behind the net. Looking to make a possession play back to the blue line. They do. Walking across the blue line here into the offensive end. Now top of the circle. Now back to the point. Long shot again. Through traffic, but Spencer Knight sees it. Gets the glove on it and covers that one up with 4.59 left in the second period. And uh, 121 left on the power play here for the UMass Minutemen. Big, big glove save there by Knight. And uh, he's one of the best goalies in the nation for a reason. And he was a first-round pick for a reason. And uh, he's going to make that save 95% of the time. Face off one by UMass. Back at, oh, they score! The long shot from the point to flex on the way through. And just like that, it's a one goal game again. That had to have hit somebody in front as we've got a three, we've got a three, two game. We've got a three, two game here as the long shot from the minute man must have deflected on the way through. It looks like it hit. Oh, yeah, that definitely hit uh, one of the two guys in front. I couldn't tell if it was 10 or if it was 15, but uh, it hit one of those guys in front for UMass, and they get a power play goal, and we are right back to a one-goal game here. So we're back to five-on-five -five hockey after the power play goal, and we are right back to a one-goal game as UMass gets their second goal of the night. Not sure who it's going to be credited to, but it was one of the two forwards sitting in front of the net there. Someone got a stick on that and deflected it by Spencer Knight. As that one's dumped in there by BC. UMass takes it in their own zone, though. Here they come. Trying to get it out, but Boston College keeps it in. Second chance, they do get it out. Three on two now for the Minutemen up ice. Pass into the middle, into the slot. Backhand chance, and Knight makes a huge save. Now, Boston College with it in the offensive zone. They send it down deep as they're going to get fresh legs on the ice. I wish they'd say who scored the goal for UMass. Um, I'll find out. Let me switch to the UMass roster here as we get a quick whistle. And it, I, if, I think it was Josh Lapina. I think it was Josh Lapina for UMass that scored it. Uh, freshman forward, number 10. He looked like he was the one that got his stick on it in front. So um, that would be, uh, that'd be that, that's who I would say got it. And um, he's out to take the faceoff against Jack McBain here. And McBain gets tossed out of the faceoff dot. Or I guess they don't actually toss the guys out, but they're going to redo the faceoff here. So Lopina and McBain in to take it. Lopina wins it back for, for uh, UMass. 
3-2 game here. BC with the lead, late stages of the second period. That one goes all the way down, but it's no icing as Bobby Trevino wins the race. Pass into the middle. Chance for UMass, and they score again! The game is tied! Another goal on the back door from Lupina, and it's a tie game, 3-3. Three, three. What a night, for, what, a, what a last couple of minutes for Josh Lupina. And he scores two goals back to back, and we have a tie game. Hey, thank you, Brendan. I appreciate that. Uh, Steven, I have no idea what my prescription is for my glasses. All I know is I have an astigmatism, and I've had glasses since I was four years old. But um, I do not, uh, I do not uh, know what the prescription actually is. But over the red line here, dumped in by Boston College. This game has been wild. It just changed very, very quickly here. Very, very quickly as we got a tie game now as UMass ties it up. Lapina with two goals back to back. And just like that, it's 3-3 three to three here with 3.20 remaining in the second period. Here comes UMass now out of their zone. Into the offensive end now. Good job defensively by Boston College, though, standing up. They go through the neutral zone. Turned over. Now they get it back right at the red line. Over the red line and into the offensive end. Dumped in. Yeah, three to one is always a very dangerous lead, Red Rubber. I don't know why. It's it's just it's funny how that always seems to work out. Any level of hockey, baseball, like three to one is just a bad lead to have. It it get the teams come back from three one from being down three one so often in all different sports. Maybe not soccer so much, but other sports, especially higher scoring ones, three one is a just it seems like a cursed lead. Yo, Avi, what is going on? Welcome to the stream, man. Thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. That's going to be an icing call against Boston College. Yo, HTH is back, my man. What's going on, John? Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. We got a hell of a game going on right here. Boston College and UMass 3-3. It has been an incredible game, Avi. Um, a really, really good matchup. Hey, Mike and Julie, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. Two and a half minutes left in the second period here. 3-3 three, three game. This is going to be a huge third period coming up. Really, really appreciate all of you guys in the chat. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't. It really helps get more people here watching, and that's more fun for everybody. All right, here we go now. UMass into the offensive end. Looking to take their first lead of the game, but Spencer Knight makes... Uh, makes a save there and covers that one up with 207 left. So UMass will get an offensive zone draw, but Knight comes up big to make that save. Man, this is going to be a huge third period coming up. Huge third period. We have a tied game. Yes, we do. Um... Uh, Knights, I mean, Knights been pretty good, HTH. My, uh, I don't, I should have just called you John. I don't know why I said HTH, but Knights been pretty good, John. I mean, uh, I wouldn't really say that the goal, the goals haven't been his fault or anything. Um, it just, the, the last one was kind of a defensive lapse by, uh, by BC, but, um, yeah, he, he's been pretty solid personally. Shot there. Oh, big save there by Murray. Big save there by Murray on the break chance there for BC. But here they are on the forecheck, still in the offensive zone. UMass goes off glass and gets it out. Puck's in the neutral zone now. Both teams fighting for it by the red line. UMass comes away with it into the offensive end. Drop pass doesn't really work. They just send it in behind the net. A minute and a half now remaining in the second. Puck's back at the point. Now to the faceoff circle. That shot gets deflected in. The second goal was a deflection. Nothing Knight could do about it. The... Uh, the third goal that he gave up was kind of a defensive lapse by Boston College. So I really wouldn't pin any of the goals on him. And uh, I think he's played pretty solid so far in this game. Both goaltenders have been pretty solid. The first Boston College goal, I think Murray would, would want back. But um, other than that, the goaltending has been pretty, pretty good on both ends. As we get an icing call here with a minute five left, and this puck's going to come all the way back down. Uh, to the Boston College end, and UMass will get an offensive zone draw. Hey, NHL Hockey News Reports, what is going on? Windy City's in the house. What's going on, Nick? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for uh, for
for what being here really really appreciate it thank you guys for watching great to have you all in the chat we have a heck of a hockey game going on here between boston college and umass amherst two top 10 teams in the country and uh they are going at it a lot of notable prospects uh hockey news reports um uh brendan yes that is very against the rules um yeah, there, there's a lot of, a lot of notable prospects, especially on the Boston College side, Hockey News reports. I, I check out their roster. There's a lot of, lot of uh, big names on the roster. Is that's going to be icing against UMass now? I mean, just off the top of my head, New Hook, Hellison, Knight, uh, Lutzko. Um, I know I'm forgetting some, uh, Kuntar for Boston College. He was a Bruins draft pick this past year. I mean, there, there's, there's a lot of draft picks, um, a lot of draft picks on the BC end, particularly. Offensive zone draw here for the Eagles, one back, 30 seconds left in the period. Um, Down behind the net now. Boston College with it. Looking to take the lead here before the end of the period. Back out in front. Not able to get a clean pass through. And UMass clears that one all the way down. 15 seconds left in, in the second period. Now down to 10 seconds. Time for one last rush. UMass blocks it in the neutral zone though. And that one is just going to go back in behind the BC net. Harden on the forecheck. Losing a stick though is the UMass forward. And that is going to do it. That's the end of the second period. And um... That's that's uh that's gonna be the end here for this period. We'll have hu we have a huge third period coming up, a massive third period coming up. We have a tie game between UMass and BC, three three heading into the third, and this is gonna be a really really fun one the rest of the way. So I appreciate all you guys watching. Please hit that subscribe button, hit that like if you haven't yet. It helps out so much. And we've got some time here at intermission to kill, so obviously we're gonna hang out in the chat while we wait for the third to start. Appreciate you all watching. Um, yeah, the prospects are really good. All good, Windy City. I appreciate you stopping in. Really means a lot. Thank you. Um, I'm not dancing between periods, Brendan. We'll we can chat. We can chat as much uh, as you want in the chat between uh, for the intermission here. But I am definitely not going to be dancing on camera. Um, yeah, Boldy and McBain as well. Uh, McBain's got two goals tonight. Hockey News reports he's got two of the three Boston College goals. Um, let's see. Hey, what's going on, Rob? Welcome to the stream. Um, nothing new on the NHL front, Avi. Apparently, the sides aren't even talking. Um, the sides aren't even talking, so we're not any closer to an NHL season. Um, let's see. One dab for the boys. Uh, all right, maybe. May I? Yeah, I I can do that, Brendan. So if you want a uh, if you want a dab for the boys, here you go. We'll do that quick, but uh, uh, hockey news reports. We're not gonna know when the NHL. The NHL won't know until they know when the season is, and they have no idea when the if they they have no they have no idea if there's even going to be a season. Like, um, they 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 haven't worked anything out. They have not worked anything out. Um, so it, there's still a long, long way to go. Hey, Jameson, I appreciate that. Brendan, I appreciate it. Cole, welcome to the channel, guys. Yeah, World Juniors will be coming up around Christmas time. Um, so obviously that will be really fun to follow that. Um, hey, Mikhail, what's going on, man? I appreciate you being here. Of course I remember you, bro. You were here all playoffs long for the NHL. Uh, oh, yeah, THG. I, I That's probably in the Discord already. I'm... I'm uh, I'm probably, I know somebody probably clipped that. Uh, it, it's fine. It, I mean, we have a lot of fun here on this channel. It's, it's what we do. So everyone can make fun of me. Um, best NHL matchup I'm hyped for. I, I mean, geez, we've got Calgary and Edmonton. It's a brawl every time they play. We've got Boston and Toronto. Um, just in incredibly good games. Boston and Tampa Bay play incredibly good games. I think Philadelphia and the Islanders, after their playoff series this past year, 
is going to be a really fun matchup to watch this coming season. There, there's a lot of really good matchups in the NHL, and uh, I, I am excited for uh, hopefully the NHL to start sometime in January. Yeah, Rob, I agree. The The Washington football team is not a terrible team. They, they've just got to figure out some, a few, I mean, they've got, they've got a great receiver in, in Terry McLaurin. They've got a two good running backs. Alex Smith is a pl plenty suitable quarterback. They just need some, a line and a better defense and they'd actually be pretty decent. Um, Red rubber. That's exactly what's going to happen. The, the NFC East winner will be six and 10. Um, they will be under 500 without a doubt. They will be under 500. Um, I really don't have a secret Jameson. Um, just, this is how it is naturally. Oh, all right. Oh, I should probably. Oh, man. Cole, I have no idea who's going to win this game. This game is completely up for grabs now. With it 3-3 with it three, three heading into the final period, completely up for grabs at this point. Either team can win this. Um, I would say it's a 50-50 shot either way. Um Obviously, UMass got some big-time momentum with those two quick goals, but I think the, the, the period stoppage is going to break some of that momentum. So I think this is a complete coin flip, 50-50 shot either way. Um, this is anyone's game. Completely tied. You, you basically have a one-period hockey game now. You're starting from scratch. You're, you're starting from scratch heading into, uh, into, the, uh, into the third. Um, who's the better team? I mean, on paper, Boston College is the better team. They have, they, they have the more talented roster and they're higher ranked, but, um, UMass had a very good second period. So, uh, I, I, I think the game's very much up for grabs. Either team's a capable of winning it. I mean, they're both top 10 teams, so it's not like, it's not like UMass is a bunch of slouches. Um, but Boston College is the better team on paper, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to win every game. But um, the number one team in the NCAA right now, I believe, is North Dakota. Um, I haven't checked the rankings lately, but I believe, well, I have, but I was mainly looking for these two teams. Um, NCAA hockey rankings, yes. North Dakota North Dakota is the number one team in the NCAA right now. Boston College is number two. Um, Minnesota Duluth is number three. Minnesota State is number four. And Denver is number five. So that's your top five. Hey, Luke, what is going on, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Um... Yeah, NBA very, very quickly got uh, their new season plan done. I think it's a lot harder for the NHL because you have so much Canadian travel, which you can't travel to Canada. Like, the NBA did it quickly, but Toronto's not playing in Toronto. They're playing in Tampa Bay to start the season. So, um, without the international travel, I think it would be a lot simpler. But with, with seven Canadian teams, the NHL can't just not have them play in Canada. So... Um, it, it's a much more complicated process for the NHL. Um, Wisconsin, I don't believe is in the top 10. I think they're down near like around 14 or 15 hockey news reports. I don't, I don't remember off the top of my head, but I think Wisconsin's down at like number 14 or number 15.
Oh my. I have not I have not bench pressed in since I since I played football in high school like eight years ago in eight, nine years ago now. Um I, I have not bench pressed in a long, long time. So I have no idea what I can bench right now. I can tell you it's not a lot. I was never, never big, big weight with upper body strength at all. Much, much more lower body strength than, um, I haven't squatted. I mean, I don't, I don't really work out anymore. I mean, I played, I played flag football with my friends today, but I don't really work out. So I haven't lifted weights in years. So I have no idea. I could always squat a good amount, though. I from playing hockey for twelve years, like you, you can't play football and hockey and not have a strong lower body. It just doesn't work. So uh, I could always squat really well, but I was not much of a bench press guy at all. I not a lot of upper body strength. Yes, Ohio State plays Michigan State tomorrow. Um, that that will be a fun game. That will be fun to watch. I I think that's on Big Ten Network, so I don't get that. But um, that those will be that will be a good game. Ohio State and Michigan State. Um, uh, my top max is in high school. Jesus, I don't even remember. I know freshman year of high school, I squatted, I squatted two fifteen, and I weighed like a hundred and twenty pounds. So um, I don't know. I remember a lot of the older kids were were like. We're pretty pumped when I squatted 215 when it was like almost 100 pounds more than what I weighed. And that was like my first, that was my freshman year of high school was like my first uh, year working out too. Or like my first time ever working, like actually doing weight training and stuff. So, um, yeah, I, I that was a long time ago now for me. I, I stopped playing football in 2012 or 2011 2011 was my last year playing football and 2014 was my last year or no 2013 slash 14 was my last year playing hockey so i haven't played an organized sport in a while uh hey jack thanks i appreciate that oh damn we're almost to 30 likes we're almost to 30 likes and we'll have the third period coming up soon this this should be the last um the last commercial break, I think, before the start of the third period. And we've got a huge third period coming up here between Boston College and UMass. 3-3 um, three, three game heading into the third. BC's first game of the season. They would love to go out, you know, come out and win their first game. This would be a huge win for UMass if they're able to pull it, if they're able to pull it off. Um, so obviously beating a team higher than you in the standings is always a massive win. So um yeah, this is going to be a fantastic, fantastic third period. Um, my favorite Bruins player, Cole, um, is my favorite NHL player in in at, of, of like anyone. Uh, it's Patrice Bergeron. Oh, Patrice Bergeron has become definitely my favorite Bruin and probably one, you know, easily my favorite player in the NHL and one of my probably all-time favorite players in the NHL. Uh, Merck, this is just chat. You can't show the game on YouTube. Your channel gets taken down for copyright infringement. So, um, the you there won't be live games ever on YouTube. YouTube just takes them down. And then deletes the channel for because for, it's illegal. But they're showing uh, they're showing some highlights here from the last period, and uh, we got a three three game. A lot of scoring in that last period. A lot of scoring for both sides there. Both teams get a uh, couple of goals and. Uh, that was a big period for UMass to, to tie that up with L Lapino scoring back-to-back -back goals to tie it up at three after being down, um, being down three to one. That was big, but yeah. Be Boston College's defense giving up that third goal, just letting Lapino get the puck in the in the crease like that. 
just just pretty rough. Uh, no, I don't play. I don't have time to play video games. Uh, I very rarely play video games now. I don't. I don't even have any newer systems. I the only game systems I still have are my PS2 from when I was in like elementary school and Xbox 360. I don't have anything newer than that because I just don't have time to play video games very often. I am 24, Brendan. 24. Uh, thankfully not 25 yet. All right, refs are coming back out on the ice now. Players should be out shortly. Um, trying to think here um and then we will be starting the third period probably in two to three minutes the, god these intermissions are shorter uh th these intermissions are shorter than nhl intermissions and they still feel long yo alex thank you so much really really appreciate that uh i did have a good thanksgiving it was a solid day and um i hope uh hope everyone in the chat i I mean, if you're from Canada or somewhere else, the UK, Europe, somewhere, obviously you don't have Thanksgiving the way that we do here in the U.S. But if you're from the U.S., I hope you had a great Thanksgiving as well. If you're from somewhere else, I hope you had a good day. And, uh, yeah, we've got a huge third period coming up here. Favorite side dish for Thanksgiving is stuffing. It's, without a doubt, my number one favorite is stuffing. Oh, yeah, I watched both NFL games yesterday, Alex. Um, uh, the, the man, Dallas, they, they weren't even good games. Like, the Lions got destroyed in their game, and Dallas got destroyed in their game. Um, they weren't even good games. But still, it was Thanksgiving. It was football. It's tradition. It's what you do. Um, yeah, the NHL is definitely going to have a Canadian division, Luke. Absolutely. Absolutely. But anyway, guys, teams are back out lining up at center ice. We are uh, we are ready to go. I do have Snap. I can throw it in the chat if you guys want to add me. My Snap and my Insta are the same thing if you want to add me. Um, I, there's, I have a decent number of subscribers from the channel. Um, but I'll just throw it in the chat. Anyway, we're back underway here. Third period action. Boston College wins the opening faceoff. They dump it in now to the offensive end. UMass gets back to play it, though. Good pass behind the net. They're looking for a quick breakout here. Under, uh, uh, I don't even know where I was going with that. Icing call, though, against UMass, and that's coming all the way back down. And BC will get an offensive zone faceoff here. So, um... Big, uh, big third period on the line here. 3-3 three, three game. Uh, just starting the third, about 20 seconds in. And uh, we're going to have an offensive zone draw for Boston College, but UMass wins it back defensively. All right, cool. I'll, I'll add you guys back um, either at commercial break or when the game ends. I'll add you guys all back. Um, we're about 30 seconds in now. BC with it. Out of their zone, quick breakout. Knockdown at neutral ice, though. UMass sends it right back into the Boston College end. BC being smart with the puck here, just looking for a breakout play. They want to make sure they're, they're not turning the puck over and they maintain possession. What do they do? They turn the puck over. UMass takes it away in the neutral zone. Now it's right in front of the BC bench and U UMass dumps it back in a minute into the third period. Now here comes BC with a shot. Oh, and they score. They absolutely snipe it. Was that McBain again? I didn't quite get the jersey number right away. No, that might have been Boldy. It was Boldy for uh, Boston College. And he absolutely snipes it glove side. 4-3 Eagles lead. Absolutely snipes it glove side on Murray. And Boldy scores. 
and to give Boston College another one goal lead here. Matt Boldy, what a snipe. And he scores to give Boston College another lead. And we'll see if they can hang on to this one. It's 4-3 now, Eagles. Pucks in the neutral zone. We're just over a minute, in a, or just about a minute and a half into the third period. UMass with it. Not able to keep possession. Now they try and get it back, but Boston College gets back defensively. They clear it up and out. Sent all the way down by the Eagles. That's going to be icing. It will come back to their zone. UMass gets an offensive zone faceoff chance out of it. Appreciate all of you guys watching. Thank you guys so much for being here. What a hockey game we have here. And UMass's defense gets caught sleeping. And Matt Boldy just snipes it glove side on Matt Murray and puts the Eagles up 4-3. to three. Yes, in Instagram is the same as my Snapchat. Same handle as Snap. 18-15 to go. UMass with it now setting up in the offensive end, trying to tie this game back up. They've so far, when BC's scored, UMass has had an answer. We'll see if that's the case again. Long shot there. That one gets blocked. Two, uh, two shot blocks there by Boston College, and Matt Boldy is still down. He is just getting back to his feet, so he scores the goal. Then he blocks a shot, and he can barely put any weight on his leg right now. That was a Tough shot block. UMass keeps it in the offensive end. They're going to look to take advantage of this opportunity here. Boldy can't get off the ice yet. He's trying to work his way towards the bench. Deflected in front. Long shot there. UMass comes back to find it. They're trying to wrap around now, and Knight pokes that one away. That one almost taken away. BC does take it away now and clears that one all the way down. 17-20 left in the third now. UMass takes it now up through the neutral zone, but Boston College pokes it away. Now they get possession. Now UMass, Bobby Trevino after it. That one goes off his shin pads and all the way back down. BC not able to get the puck. Lop uh, Lopino with it, uh, looking for a Hattie in this one. He's not able to get it on goal, though. It goes wide of night, and Boston College clears. Hey, thank you, Krishna. Appreciate it. Yeah, she's... she's uh, She's a lot bigger now than uh, she was in the picture, but uh, very, very nice cat to have for sure. We got a face-off coming up here just outside the Boston College and neutral zone draw. Uh, I have a dog and two cats, Cole, so kind of both. I, I like both. Yeah, Justin Herbert's having a hell of a year, Luke. Hell of a year. Pucks down behind the BC net now. UMass comes away with it, trying to get a pass into the middle, but it ends up going for the far corner. Boston College, though, clears that one out. Here comes BC. They get a breakaway. Oh, big time blocker stop there. I think that was Hutzko with the breakaway for the Eagles. And Matt Murray makes a huge blocker save to keep this a one-goal game. Now here's Boston College again, though, cutting in. Trying to get it on goal, and it somehow stays out. Man, I never even got a real shot off on that. And Murray keeps that one out, and they're trying to clear in UMass. Not able to get it out over the blue. No, they do get it out over the blue line. BC sends it back in. Hutsko is really ticked with himself right here. He didn't score on this breakaway. He just never really made a move. He just ripped a shot, blocker side from the faceoff circle. And um, big save there from, uh, from Murray. And then Murray makes another stop on the net front chance that they couldn't put home. So two great opportunities. Two great opportunities there for Boston College, but um, UMass's goaltender able to keep it out. Matt Murray with some big stops to keep this a one-goal game. UMass with an offensive zone draw now, and they win it back. Long shot there. Spencer Knight easily just blocks that one to the corner. Cleared out there by the Eagles. UMass takes possession back in the neutral zone. They'll go back to their own end and regroup. 
Now back up to the red line, over it, into the offensive end. Here come the Minutemen, trying to tie this game up. Backhand pass to the middle. Easy cover there for Spencer Knight, and he gets a whistle with 15-26 remaining in the third. And um, we'll have an offensive zone draw for the Minutemen coming up here as Knight had to get that whistle down. But um, UMass needs the next goal, I'll tell you that. Next, next goal of... Um, Next goal of this game is going to be massively, massively important. Uh, if BC scores the next goal, I think that pretty much ices it. I don't see them blowing another two-goal lead. And if if um, if UMass scores the next goal to tie it up, I mean, we're right back to anyone's game. So uh, next goal is absolutely huge. For UMass looking for a break out of their own zone here after BC dumped it in. We've got about 15 minutes left in the third period. 15 minutes left. UMass with it now into the neutral zone all the way down. Did anyone get a stick on that? No, that's going to be icing against UMass. And Boston College gets an offensive zone faceoff coming up here with 14.57 left in the third period. And uh, that was a icing there against the Minutemen. Face off one back there by UMass. Hey, David, welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, Spencer Knight was a first-round pick. He's Boston College's goaltender, picked by Florida. Um, so he's a pretty big one. Drew Hellison is a Colorado Avalanche draft pick. Um, Alex, Alex Newhook normally plays for Boston College, but he is at Team Canada's camp for World Juniors right now. So he's not playing tonight, but he is on the Boston College team. He was a first-round pick of the Colorado Avalanche. So there's some, uh, there's a lot of NHL prospects in this game tonight and some big ones as well. And we got a stoppage here as Matt Murray covers that one up for UMass and gets a whistle. We'll have another face-off coming. Um, any, uh, right, yeah, Russell Wilson was the early favorite, but he's definitely uh, cooled off a little bit, Luke, for sure. He's my fantasy quarterback, so I follow him closely, and he's cooled off. Mahomes is definitely the MVP leader now. Uh, what kind of chapstick do I use? I could not, e I could not even tell you the last time I even remembered to use chapstick. So, I, I, there's no uh, brand association there. That one's sent all the way down, but no icing as UMass wins the race to it. BC's defenseman falls down behind the play. Pass into the slot. <coughs> Good, excuse me. Good job by Boston College's defense, though, to uh, block that pass from cleanly getting through. Chance there. Knight holds the post. Behind the net now. Still with it, trying to get it out. And BC finally is able to clear the zone and send it all the way down. That is going to be icing, though, against the Eagles as no one gets a stick on it. And that will come back down to the BC end, and UMass gets an offensive zone faceoff out of it. Four to three, Boston College with the lead, number two over number eight uh, in the USA Today College hockey poll. Thirteen forty-five remaining in the third period. UMass is number seven in the USCHO poll, number eight in the USA hockey poll. So um, we'll see if USCHO updates at all after this weekend of games. But anyway, UMass with it. Trying to tie this game up. BC looking to clear. Good hit in the offensive zone, but Boston College does get it out. UMass takes possession back at neutral ice. Into the offensive end now. Here they come. Looking for a pass play as Gaudet. Not able to. Just sends it around the boards, and no one's home for UMass. So that one clears the zone. BC trying to take it away now at neutral ice. They do. Into the offensive end. Looking to extend their lead. Shot in a... Just getting his glove on that. Big time save there from Murray. Yo, TJ, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Uh, great to have you in the chat. I am doing well. Hopefully you are as well. We've got a great hockey game going on here. Hockey East action between BC and UMass. And it's a 4-3 game here in the third. Long shot there from Drew Hellison. And Matt Murray gobbles that one up and makes the save. Covers it. We'll have an offensive zone faceoff for the Eagles coming up after this commercial break. 12.48 remaining in the third period and a 4-3 BC lead. 
Thank you guys all so much for being here and watching. Great to have you all in the chat. Really, really appreciate it. Please hit that like button if you haven't yet. Subscribe if you are new. Both of those things really help the channel a lot and are much appreciated. It's uh, been a really, really good game tonight. And I'll be doing these two teams again tomorrow afternoon at 4.30. They play again. They're at Boston College tonight. They'll be at UMass Amherst tomorrow. And uh, that game will also be televised in my area, so I'll be able to do that one as well. And uh, this is a huge early season matchup between these two teams, two top 10 teams in the nation fighting for early season wins and you know points in the standings. So um, really appreciate all of you guys watching. Hopefully some of you will be able to come back and watch again tomorrow when these two teams face off again. I'm gonna and if, if tomorrow's game is, is as good as this one, it's going to be another fantastic hockey game tomorrow as well. And it usually is anytime these two teams meet up. These have been college hockey powerhouses for the past few years. I mean, Boston College has always been a top team, but UMass over the last five, six years has really become a, a powerhouse college hockey team. And um, them, Providence College, Boston College, Boston University, anytime these teams play each other, they, uh, they have some really, really good games, and this is no different, and tomorrow should be no different either. So um, hopefully you guys can stop in for that one. Daniel, welcome to the stream, man. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. We are back underway in the third period, uh, ticking down towards 12 and a half minutes to go. Boston College with the 4-3 lead. They're in the offensive zone here, looking to extend that lead. Long shot from the point gets blocked. Felix with it now for UMass. He tries to get it out, kept in, though, at the blue line. We got a Boston College defenseman down, though. Boston College defenseman takes a hit there and goes down and is still down on the ice, slowly getting up. I believe it's Warren. And, uh, oh, yeah, knee to knee hit. Knee to knee hit there. Josh Lopina catches him knee to knee. It is Warren, and he's slowly skating to the bench. That definitely did not feel good. And, uh,. We'll see. I, I, they might. That's. You could definitely warrant a kneeing penalty there, but they do not call a penalty on it. So no penalty call. The whistle was just for the injury, and um, we're back underway here as UMass gets that one out. Hey, Justin, welcome to the stream. Uh, this game is on TV. If you live in New England, uh, it's on Nesson. But uh, if you don't live in New England, you're probably not going to have a way to watch it on television. There might be a stream online somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure, but um, you you could check, look for maybe an online stream on on hockeyeast.com or um, maybe maybe a, a streaming site. But I'm not sure. But it, they, you can't show the game on YouTube because of copyright. It will get your channel taken down and terminated, and uh, uh, bad things happen when you violate copyright law. So. UMass is in the offensive end here. Long shot from the point. Trying to get the game-tying goal. Backhand chance gets blocked in as well. 11-20 um, now left in the third. Pucks behind the BC net. They come away with it, though. They go around the boards and out. All the way down. No icing as it just goes by. The defenseman. Chow back to get it for the Minutemen. He's looking for a breakout play. Getting pressured here. Four check for BC. Doing a good job. They have to try the other side. Now UMass comes out. Dumped into the offensive zone quickly. Spencer Knight out of his net to play. It rims it around the boards. BC gets it up and out. Over through the neutral zone and back into the UMass end. UMass has to go back to regroup here. Off boards and they clear it now. Into the offensive end. Here's Chow with it. Pass into the middle. Good job getting back defensively though and getting a stick on it for, the, for Boston College. Now they bring it into the offensive end. Shot there. That one gets deflected high. And the puck goes out of play, deflects up and out of play, and we get a whistle with 10.34 remaining in the third period. And that was a solid defensive play there from UMass now. Yes, Trevor Kuntar is on the Boston College Eagles. He was drafted in October in the third round by the Boston Bruins. So... Another NHL draft pick playing in this game for uh, either of these two teams. So um, Boston College trying to keep it in the blue line there. Not able to. UMass clears. Back now regrouping their own zone through neutral ice. They turn it over, though. Here comes BC. 
Just not able to play it cleanly. Jack McBain has it in the corner. He's fighting off a of check here. Now he's got two guys on him. Just looking to maintain possession. UMass takes it away and clears it out all the way down to the neutral zone and over the blue line. BC gets it back in their own end. Pass into the middle doesn't connect. UMass has it. Now over the red line as we just pass the halfway point of this third period. Final 10 minutes of the game. Pass into the middle doesn't hit anybody and BC comes away with it. It is 4-3. Boston College with the lead. UMass needs a goal here in the final 10 minutes to tie this thing up and force overtime. Here they come now into the offensive end. Boston College looking to maintain this lead or maybe even extend it. Sent down low. 9.35 remaining. Lapina with it in the corner. He's got two of the three goals for UMass. He's looking for the Hattie in this one. He brings it behind the net now, and he's drawn a penalty. So we got a whistle here, a holding call against Boston College's Caro is going to go to the box, and that's going to lead to a UMass power play here when we come back from commercial break. 9.26 remaining, and the Minutemen are getting their biggest power play of the game. Under 10 minutes to go, desperately trying to get uh, this game tied back up. So we're at commercial break here, 4-3 game. UMass with a huge power play when we get back. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Please hit that thumbs up if you haven't yet. Subscribe if you are new. Um, both of those things help out the channel a ton and are very, very much appreciated. Oh my god, so many so many of you added me on instant snap. Jeez, all right, I'm trying to add you all back. All right, I'm pretty sure I just added all of you that added me back. So I'll get I'll get to snap next commercial break. Uh, no, I do not get my eyebrows done at all. Un um, no, this is I I I don't do anything fancy, anything special. This is just pretty much how I look. Um, all right, I'll I'll try and add you guys into a uh, into a snap group. Hey, of course, Red Rubber. Not a problem at all, man. Not a problem at all. I always try. If I know you're a subscriber of mine, I always add people back if I know. Yo, Mike, what is going on, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Great to have you in the chat. We've got a heck of a game here and a heck of an ending coming up. Uh, UMass is on the power play here for another minute 35. Nine minutes left in the third, and they need a goal. Trying to tie this thing back up. Face off dot shots just wide chance second chance. Oh Knight keeps it out. That might have been deflected on the way through. Wow. What a chance there. UMass still has it in the offensive zone. Minute 15 on the power play. Keeping a good possession. Into the slot and it goes by. Oh, just missed the guy in the slot. Splits the D and goes all the way down. Matt Murray comes out and plays it and leaves it for his defenseman. Hey, Krishna, thank you so much for subscribing. Really, really appreciate that. Everyone, get some new sub hype in the chat for Krishna, newest subscriber to the channel. Thank you. Really, really appreciate it. Under a minute now left on the power play. Ticking down towards 45 seconds. UMass dumps it back in. BC looking for the clear. Trying to get it out here. Not able to. U UMass takes possession away. Still holding on to the 4-3 leader. The Eagles, no defenseman home at the far point, And that one clears the zone. UMass running out of time. Hey, Bruce, thank you. I appreciate that. Bruce is also new subscriber to the channel. Please welcome Bruce to the channel as well. Final 15 seconds of the power play. Boston College clears that one out and sends it all the way down. That is just about going to do it. UMass, one last rush here into the offensive end. Pass into the middle. Seven and a half left in the third. They're trying here, trying to get this tying goal. Boston College doesn't want to let it happen. Puck in the slot. BC takes it away. Up and out. 
into the offensive end. Now here come the Eagles. They would love an insurance goal here that would pretty much end it. Ticking down towards seven minutes now to go in the third. UMass takes it away over the red line now into the offensive end. Shot on goal. Easy glove save there for Spencer Knight. And uh, he quickly puts an end to that as he covers that one up with the glove. And we get a whistle with 7.06 remaining. Cole, subscribe. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it, Cole. Uh, welcome, Cole, to the channel as well. Thank you so much to everyone, new subscribers. Great to have you here. Really, really appreciate each and every one of you. We're doing some college hockey action while we wait for the NHL to return. And I'm still going to continue to do college hockey stuff uh, even when the NHL does come back. But this is primarily an NHL channel. But I'm definitely I'm, – I watch a ton of college hockey to begin with. So I'm definitely going to continue covering college more than I have in the past. Oh, we got a high stick here. High stick against Boston College, and UMass is going back to the power play. UMass is going back to the power play here as we get a high sticking call uh, uh, against... Uh, it was Mike Hardman who does have a goal in this game, but he gets his stick up against the UMass player. It looks like he hit him under the chin. I mean, it's hard to actually hit someone where it hurts when they have a cage on, but it looks like it caught him under the chin or in the neck. And that is definitely not a fun spot to get hit. And uh, he goes to the box for high sticking. And UMass goes back to the power play, desperately looking for the game-tying goal. Face-off one back, though, by Boston College. They go off the boards. Kept in, though, at the blue line by UMass. Really nice keep in there by the defenseman. Boston College tries it off glass on the other side. And they do get it all the way down. So they do get the early clear here, trying to kill this penalty off. Under seven minutes now to go in the period and in the game. 4-3 BC with the lead. They need to kill this penalty off. UMass is trying desperately to tie this thing up. Pucks in behind the net. Now BC comes away with it. UMass hard on the forecheck, though. Bobby Trevino in there. Not able to get it, though. And here's Boston College out of the zone. Over the red line and now into the offensive end. Matt Boldy with it. He just eats it in the corner and is happy just to kill clock. Didn't have a lot of help with him, so he just... Just takes it to the corner and kills some time. UMass comes away with it now. Still a minute 10 of power play time. 6.05 left in the third. Through the neutral zone and now into the offensive end. Jones with it. Zach Jones for the minute man. He drops it back to the uh, Trevino. Trevino down low now. Knocked off the puck by uh, Lopina there was the BC defenseman. But he gets back up and gets the puck and sends it all the way down. Good penalty kill so far for Boston College. 45 seconds left of power play time. BC holding on to the one goal lead. UMass really has got to take advantage of this power play opportunity. They haven't uh, taken advantage of either of their third period power plays, and that's come back to bite them as they're still down by a goal here. As that one gets shot up into the Boston College bench area, and we get a whistle with exactly 30 seconds left in power play time as Logan Hutsko sent that one into the bench. Offensive zone draw here for the Minutemen. They win it back to the blue line. Hey, thank you, Krishna. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying the commentary. 20 seconds left on the power play here. Setting up in the offensive zone. UMass with it. Trying to get a pass into the middle. They do, and it doesn't sit flat and eventually gets knocked out. Back to neutral ice. UMass has to regroup here, and they're running out of time on the power play. All you guys that added me on snap, I will add you guys back after this game. Um, but I definitely will add you all back, and I appreciate you guys adding me. Under five minutes now to go in the third. Yeah, when, when, Olympics ho when Olympic hockey is going on, I'll definitely, um, those games will be on NBC, so I'll definitely uh, be doing, uh, doing some of those games as well when the Olympics do finally take place. Uh, Cole, absolutely, absolutely. And we got a commercial break here. All right. Give my voice a rest here. I got to do this all again tomorrow afternoon. But nah, I, I was streaming almost every um, 
I was streaming almost every day, literally like almost every day in the NHL playoffs for two months straight. So uh, my voice is taking a lot worse. And I, I've been waiting for hockey to come back. We, it's nice to do the college games on the weekend, but um, it, to, tonight and tomorrow will be the first time I do games in back-to-back days since the conference finals in the NHL playoffs. So it's been a few months. Hey, Jameson, thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. I'm glad you guys found the stream. It's not not every night that a whole group of new people find the channel, but I'm really got, glad that you guys found it and really, really appreciate you guys stopping in and watching, and I'm glad that you enjoy it. It's, we're, uh, we're getting down to crunch time now, to say the least. UMass BC 4-3. Please subscribe if you happen to be watching and aren't a subscriber yet. Uh, it would really mean a lot. Hit that thumbs up button as well. Um, Really, really appreciate all of you guys watching. We're under five minutes to go in the third here. Boston College trying to hold on to this lead and, and get a win in their first game of the season. Um, UMass played last weekend against UConn. They went 1-0-1, and uh, they are trying to get a big win over a, an opponent that is ranked higher than them in the stand, in the rankings right now, but uh, they, need a, they desperately need a goal to tie this thing up if they're going to pull that off, so... We'll see what happens here the final four and a half or so minutes, but uh, UMass has it now in the offensive zone. They're setting up with possession. We're back to five-on-five five hockey, though. The BC has killed off the penalty, so we are back to even strength. UMass, though, looking for some offense here. They need to get one more goal past Spencer Knight. Not sure if they're going to be able to do it or not, but they're certainly trying. Shot there, saved by Knight. Puck to the corner. Both teams after it now along the sideboards. That one gets sent up and out by Boston College. Yo, Sloth Gamer, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Great to have you here. Four minutes now remaining in the third. Dumped into the offensive end. And now sent right back out by Boston College. But that's going to be icing as it goes all the way down behind the net. And UMass will get another offensive zone faceoff coming up here as they're under four minutes left now in the period. And they are trying to get one more goal past Spencer Knight and tie this game up. Face off one though by Boston College defensively. They go off glass. Cleared out to new the neutral zone. Sent right back in though by UMass. BC looking for a quick breakout. Sloth Gamer thinks it's going to go to overtime. All right, that would be fun. That'd be really fun if we got an overtime game out of this. But um, we still got three and a half minutes left as Boston College brings it into the offensive zone. Behind the net, Logan Hutz go with it. Brought into the offensive end now by UMass again as they clear. Shot there. Spencer Knight just eats that one up and covers it. And we get another quick whistle here with uh, 3 11 remaining in the period. And another offensive zone faceoff for UMass coming up. So UMass has gotten a lot of offensive zone time. They've got a lot of offensive zone faceoffs. They're just not able to get anything past Knight so far in this third period. And that's, uh, that's what's killed them to this point. Only goal of the period so far was uh, was the goal by Boldy for Boston College early in this period in the third. Dumped back in by UMass now. BC looking for a breakout play. They don't get it. In the corner now. UMass with it. Behind the net. Trying to go back out. They do get it to the point. Deflected on the way through just wide of the net. Just wide of the net. Now here's Boston College breaking up. Semi-breakaway, but Matt Murray gets a stick on it. Big time poke check there. UMass was giving all kinds of pressure from behind as well. Down to two and a half minutes, though. Boston College with it in the offensive zone. Gets thrown in there, deflects in on Murray. He just covers up with 227 left. I cannot do a Carl Weezer impression, Cole. I would I'm very, very bad at impressions. So um Uh, I can, I, 
I, I, I'm not, I, uh, Carl Weezer is not in my repertoire, to say the least. Offensive zone draw here for Boston College with 227, yes. Yes, Sloth Gamer, this has been a really fun stream, so I really appreciate all of you guys watching and, and making it fun. Um, hey, thank you, Sloth Gamer, appreciate that. This has been a good night of hockey, so I'm glad you're enjoying it. Welcome, thank you for being here. Ticking down towards two minutes to go. Cleared out there by Boston College. Trying to get it back at neutral ice is UMass. They do. Big collision at center ice. Or right at the blue line there. But both guys get up. They look okay. Under two minutes now to go in the third. UMass in the offensive zone. Desperately looking for the game tying goal. They're going to get a player. to. They're going to need the extra attacker. They're going to need an extra attacker here soon. Um... With 143 left, I would expect Matt Murray to be coming to the bench for the sixth skater anytime. All right, Josh Lapina in to take it for UMass. Oh, it's just outside the offensive zone. Bobby Trevino with it now. UMass back into the offensive end. I must have been offside against UMass. That's why they got whistled down. Lapina with it. Trevino, fans on the shot. BC takes it away. Here they come up ice. Knocked down to neutral ice, though. Good defensive play by UMass, and now BC just has to dump it in. The net is empty. Net empty for the UMass Minutemen. They're down by a goal. Here's Gaudette with a good pass up. UMass it back into the offensive zone. Down to a minute 10 remaining in the third. BC just trying to hold on to the lead here. That one's sent just wide of the net. Just wide of the empty net. And that one goes wide for an icing. And uh, that's going to be icing against Boston College. It will come all the way back down to their zone. And UMass will get an offensive zone face off out of it here with a minute two remaining. So that was very, very close to icing this game. But it goes wide and ends up being an icing call. And uh, we got it looks like we got a timeout here called by UMass. And um, they're going to draw up a play here for the final minute, trying to get this thing tied up. We'll see what happens. There's only 102 left here in the third period. It's 4-3 to three Boston College. And they are desperately, UMass is desperately trying to get this game tied up and force overtime. And they have an offensive zone faceoff coming right up here. Uh, Sloth Gamer, I am streaming these same two teams again tomorrow at 4.30 in the afternoon. They play again. Um, it's a weekend series for UMass and BC. So I'll be streaming tomorrow at 4.30. Same two teams. And let me tell you, if the game is, is anything close to as good as the, the one that it was tonight, um, it's going to be a hell of a game tomorrow as well. So I'm really, really excited for it. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Awesome, guys. Thank you. I, I look forward to seeing you all in the chat tomorrow. All right. Timeout is over. Lopina in to take the draw against McBain, and we are back underway. Hey, Sloth Gamer, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate that. Welcome, Sloth Gamer, to the channel, everyone. New sub hype, new subscriber to the channel. As we're down under a minute, 50 seconds left in the third. Shot there, just goes wide, glove side on Knight. Wow, that was a few inches away. A few inches away from being a tie game, and it just goes wide. BC is able to clear now. Pucks back into the... The neutral zone. BC sends it right back out as UMass dumps it in. Extra attacker is on and the net is empty for the Minutemen. Here's Trevino. Pass into the middle. And it just doesn't connect with Chow. Oh, Chow just missed that one. Twenty Under 20 seconds left now. Pucks out in the neutral zone. BC digging for it. They're just trying to kill clock. Sent all the way down. In on the empty net and just goes wide. 
And that's going to be an icing call with eight seconds left. And it will come back down. Uh, it will come back down for the off to the offensive zone for one final ozone faceoff for the UMass Minutemen, and they have one final chance here to. Uh, they have one final chance here to try and tie this game up. Otherwise, Boston College is going to take home the win here with eight seconds left, and it looks like we have another timeout. So I guess. Boston College must have used the timeout the first time, and now uh, UMass is using their timeout here, it appears. So we've got another timeout. They put 8.9 seconds on the clock, so they added another 0.9 seconds to the clock here. And UMass is going to have one last chance to try and tie this game up. And uh, if, they, if they can't do it, we're going to have a 4-3 win for the BC Eagles here tonight. And then these two teams play again tomorrow afternoon. All right, timeout is over. Timeout is over, and they're lining up for the face-off. Yes, uh, merch is available in the merch store if you click that link. Um, if anyone is interested in that, it's, it's uh, always there. As that one's quickly cleared out, and that is going to do it. That is going to do it. It is uh, over. The Boston College Eagles take home a 4-3 win in their first game of the season. 4-3 uh, win over the UMass Minutemen. And Boston College with a heck of a performance here tonight in their first game. And this was a really fun one. What a hockey game here tonight. A lot of fun to watch. Really, really good game. And these two teams go at it again tomorrow afternoon, afternoon at 4.30. I will be um, I will be here for uh, a stream tomorrow afternoon for that game at 4:30 p.m. And uh, that one, if this if that game's anything like this one, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. But Boston College takes home the win tonight, 4-3 over UMass. Really, really appreciate each and every one of you watching. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Um, Remember, guys, please hit that like button if you haven't. Subscribe if you are new. Both of those things help out the channel so, so much and are greatly, greatly appreciated. I will uh, hopefully be seeing you guys uh, tomorrow, and uh, I'm going to be streaming college hockey. I'm going to try to do it every weekend until the NHL comes back. And uh, like I've said throughout tonight, even when the NHL does come back, I am going to cover college more than I have in the past on this channel. So if you're a college hockey fan, there'll be stuff here for you. If there's a, uh, if you're an NHL fan, there'll be obviously daily content here, NHL related. And um, just uh, trying to grow this channel, grow this community, and um, and and have you know put out some really fun content. Now. I already dabbed once. I'm sure somebody clipped it, and it will be in the uh, it will be in the Discord soon. Someone definitely will have clipped that, and uh, you guys can watch that. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe if you haven't yet. Really, really appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you have a great night. Hope you guys have a great day tomorrow, and hopefully be talking to you guys soon. With that, I am going to head out, and uh, we'll be back for some more UMass Boston College uh, action tomorrow afternoon. See you guys. Have a great night and talk to you soon.